Hi everybody, welcome to Pod Quest number 77. 77! It's Sunday, November 15th, 9.42 in the a.m. 9.42! <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, it's and we have a lot more information than we really need to. What's that? 9.42 in the a.m.? Yeah. Eh, whatever. Why not? It's 47 degrees. East, Eastern and then, Standard and then this Time. this asshole over here gives the fucking weather every time. Yeah, I know. Eh, it's Nobody there. Knows. It's there. Nobody cares about the weather. Eh. Um, fun fact. What day does this usually air? Will you put this up on Wednesdays? I've, I've been naming for Tuesdays, actually. <clears throat> All right. Someday I might even move it up to Wednesdays so that there's just a... Try to, I'm trying to do as small of a gap between us recording and it going out as possible. Yeah. I mean, so here's, here's what will be interesting. Uh, if this goes live on Wednesday... It'll be exactly one month from the release of Star Wars. So yeah. it's kind of fun. Ooh. Only right? it's going to go up on Tuesday. But if it goes up on Tuesday, it's a month and a day from the release of Star Wars. So fun thing to think about, people. Star Wars is it's it's getting even more real than it was before. We're in, hitting the 30-day the mark, which is going to be awesome. You know what's even closer? No. Yeah, neither do I. Thanksgiving? Yeah, Thanksgiving's Thanksgiving's pretty close. Black Friday? Black Uh, Friday. Man, David, you are missing out on Thanksgiving. You guys should (laughs) celebrate that with us because it's fucking awesome. (laughs) Um, I want to... All right, David, question for you then. Uh, Is there a British holiday in which everybody just stuffs their faces massively for a day like we do in America on Thanksgiving? Um, Do they have Black Friday over there? Probably not. No. So, I mean, Black Friday's not necessarily <clears throat> tied to... I mean, for us, it's tied to Thanksgiving, but it yeah. doesn't actually have to be. It's just the day where people do Christmas shopping and... Yeah. It's traditionally... this. It's the day after Thanksgiving, which means it's the start of the holiday shopping season. And it's usually, it's usually the day yeah. that companies yeah. get into the black rather than the red. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So, I mean... Well, no, because I guess because you figure Amazon, you have like Amazon UK, so they wouldn't be shopping the same Amazon as us. Yeah, they wouldn't be using dot Amazon. Com has, you know... Black Friday deals. Yeah, like for the they last already three months. started them. <laughs> they started them three months ago. No, but they actually, they're doing like branded Black Friday month, like yeah. all of November. Yeah. I'm waiting for an Xbox One to like be like a good deal. It won't be. I mean, uh, Target, I Target's going to have it, have it for as low as 240 Um after a sixty dollar gift card you get, okay. yeah, which I mean, to that, to whatever. I mean, that's still three hundred dollars <throat> outright. You know, See, um, I'm okay with that though because it, it comes with a game. Yeah, I, I think it, I mean I think it's Gears of War, so I mean it's not great for but me. It's the but HD it's the version something. of Gears of yeah. War. But, yeah, I've never played any of them, so it's at least I can give it a shot. Yeah, but then I get the sixty dollar gift card that I can then buy another game with. Yeah, so I could get like Tomb Raider or something. I uh, just wait for that to come to PS4. Yeah, it's but, coming. I know. It's coming. It's coming in a year. I could yeah, play it but, right now. But you know what you could get? What? Something that's exclusive to Xbox One that isn't coming to PS4. I'm yeah. right. that, that's what like, Gears of War is. Like a Halos or uh, fucking uh, th- that shitty time game. Or, you see, you I don't know, want that time game. Yeah, me neither. Halo looked okay until I actually saw it. And I mean, it looks nice, but I'm not. I mean, I mean I but that's he's, personally, he's, in, in, in personally, that's what I would do because I don't mean I already, gra- Yeah, I don't mean. I already have a console good. that play that's going to play Tomb Raider, albeit next Christmas or so. Is it confirmed for next Christmas? I thought it was March. I, I thought, thought it was, it was only six months. No, the March isn't six months. Or what? But yeah. I mean, that, that's what I mean. Though. I, I thought know. it was. I think it's six months for the PC port. I thought it was just straight up six it's months. It's not launching. It didn't launch day and date on PC for a Tomb Raider. Um, no, the PC I mean, version is not going to. Um, well, I mean, it's just weird because it's still a Microsoft property. Yeah, but they they're pushing Xbox One because they want the sales on it. Well, because they partnered with them for but, marketing and junk. But I no, mean, I meant Microsoft is pushing yeah. it for Xbox One first because they want to. Yeah, yeah. They want to try and bolster their. They want to sell console consoles, sales. Yeah. But um, uh, what was I saying? No, I think it's at earliest it'll be next holiday is when we see it. Uh, hmm. Uncharted is in March. Yeah, I thought that's yeah. why... Yeah, no, they're like, not releasing them both on PS4 at the same time because Uncharted would end up overselling Tomb Raider most likely on PS4 just because it already came out on Xbox. That's the main reason why Eidos went with that... Uh, went with the deal. Uh, yeah. Plus, didn't they actually lose... Not They didn't lose money, but Tomb Raider, the reboot from 2013, wasn't as big of a seller as they had hoped it to be. because Square Enix doesn't know how the game sell ever they didn't do their research they just assumed hey we're releasing a game it's going to make you know call of duty numbers it's like what the fuck you're selling tomb raider tomb raider has never done call of duty yeah Yeah, exactly i mean the thing is that was the best selling tomb raider game of all time 
but they were still disappointed in its sales numbers because yeah. it didn't sell Call of Duty numbers because they're retarded. So I mean, I've watched a bunch of like <clears throat> videos and stuff from the new one so far. It looks much more like a Tomb Raider. Like you actually raid tombs in it. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, I do want to play it, but I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy a console to play oh, no, 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 it I, earlier. See, you know, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. But there's other stuff on yeah. Xbox that I do want to play. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of other that's things why, I'd rather. If spend. I can get it even with a gift card, yeah, under three hundred dollars, yeah, I'm good. I mean, to me personally, I mean, yeah, if I had the money, I would totally get an Xbox this this holiday, and then you know. Just to have one, but otherwise, and it doesn't really matter talk, to me. Talk to your mother and father. No, I, I need them to buy me a phone because okay. I can't afford a phone. Yeah, phones are expensive. And my phone's three years old. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> it's a little more important. Um, but I know the, Amazon actually has a really it, it's it's expensive. I think it's pushing the four hundred dollar thing. Yeah, but they have a bundle. It's the I think it's the one terabyte yeah. one. Probably not though. But it's Gears of War. Um, Rare Replay and yeah. Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah. So I mean, it's Ori and the Blind Forest is a fifteen dollar game. I want to say it's, it's not really. I want to say, say it's a three fifty dollar, three hundred and fifty dollar bundle. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I mean, that's about the price of the Xbox plus you get two actual sixty dollar games. Yeah. Because yeah. they're the I physical mean, games too, so you can trade them in. Yeah, <laughs> which is nice. I, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of really good deals coming. The PlayStation bundle that I saw was best is uh, Uncharted Collection and Fallout 4. So that's if you don't have a PS4 yet, you're it's, an idiot. And how much is that? that one. It seems like Target three hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, Target and Walmart. I might, I might go deals. get that and Every, then just sell the PS4. <laughs> everything's down to three hundred bucks at this point. So um, I, I don't know if they're physical copies. They might be digital uh, downloads. That's yeah, the thing. true. Uh, but everything, all the consoles are three hundred. Wii U still pushing two fifty. But even the digital uh, downloads, the Wii U, they're not tied to that console. There's yeah, there are cards. So, uh, but uh, so yeah, it's it's so the we use pushing two fifty still, but that's coming with um, Mario Maker and something else. Yeah, uh, normally right now, which is re- or when when those bundles start hitting, which is I cool. Mean, and the new 3ds is dropping generally to like one eighty, which I still think is way too high, but because I, I want one so bad. yeah, I want one because what. Uh, there's something coming out for it specifically for that, or did it already come out? The only thing that's coming out that's specific for it is uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, like the yeah. Wii, the Wii version, the the, the port. original, the port. Right. Yeah, and that's it. That's the I only thing that's only else. coming to that um, so far. Well, I believe Monster Hunter Cross will be. I know you guys don't care, but yeah, I mean, I'm if I had one, like, I would play it because it has the two. You know, it has the nub, so it would make controlling a little bit nicer, hopefully. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's one of those things where, like, if I ever see a good deal for it, I'll pick one up. <clears throat> yeah. But mine still works fine, so there's no reason. I, and I have, I mean, other than Dragon Quest Eight, I have no reason to play anything on three on three DS. So there's the new Fire Emblem coming out. That, yeah. I mean, at this point, it's three games, so I don't really care. <laughs> I'm really well, annoyed. It's two games with DLC that can go into either one. But there's a collector's edition that everybody says comes with all three games. Oh shit! And I'm like, I don't <laughs> don't care anymore. You do. Though, I was interested they're in two this different game. stories. No, I don't. Seriously, I was interested. Think until of all the Fire Emblem you can play. I was interested until it was two separate purchases to get the full story. Then I stopped caring immediately. If I bought one game, a forty dollar cart, and had two different stories to go through. Awesome, thank you. But you want me to spend eighty dollars on on two carts to play through two stories that are the same story? I'm not right, not in. So it. I didn't finish it yet. But isn't that what Dragon Age just did? No, I thought that's what ended up happening. Like the game ended without finishing the story, and you had to get the DLC to finish it. No, 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 no. The, the main story finished. They just left threads open. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it's like any game with yeah, DLC. That's, any, that's fine. With I, DLC. I totally misunderstood what yeah. I had read about that. Then no. I thought that. Like, story threads for DLC is fine. I thought yeah. the main story didn't actually no. complete, and mm-hmm. you had to get the DLC to finish no, it. No, main story, you, you killed the villain at the end of Dragon Age Inquisition, and uh, one of your characters disappears, and then through an after credits thing, you discover that he's a thing, and then, but your people don't know. You know, as a player, know that he's a thing, and it's like, well, shit. That's going to be cool. So it's the only reason I kind of want the Game of the Year edition of that is so that I can finish up that like the storyline with him and see what happens with that shit. But otherwise, yeah, that game was. I think I might okay get, at best. I think I might get the Game of the Year edition just because it's, it it was cool, but it's not amazing. Yeah, and Fallout it wasn't as is good as the uh, as the previous Dragon Age. No, no, I mean the best one is the first. Well, one. that's uh, yeah. I'm sorry. The second one the, was the first one. It's not as good as the first. No, one. the second one was good, but the first one was amazing. And then the the most recent one is is a good update. It it does its 
It does things better than two. Um, it does things better than one. But overall, the package just feels sort of disconnected. Uh, but it's well, still good. Well, I feel like it's because you spent too much time in the hinterlands. No. <laughs> no, I didn't spend I, enough I, time I, there. I, I think I maybe got like 10 hours into that game altogether. <laughs> yeah. If that. Yeah. And it just, it, it never grabbed me. Like. There was just it's you have to be into it's it's that's one of those games kind of like The Witcher you have to really be into the lore and you want to need to be pulled into it that thing, way like, like I really like the like I like the story for The Witcher more than I like the fucking gameplay right. which is why and I haven't gone back to it again kind of where I was with with Dragon right. Age and I just love play the story. story mode only where yeah honestly, you could lower I've the been, story mode I've honestly been thinking about just like bumping it down to like super easy just to get through the story because. Like the gameplay is just not good in Witcher. Yeah, yeah. I might, um, I'm not going to do that. And it's funny because like everything I play. everything I read or listen to, that's like what everyone says. They really like The Witcher, but they just they don't want to go back to it. No. Like they kind of hit that point, and it's it's all around the same area too. It's when you get to that um that first major city, which I don't think you even made no, it to. No, I didn't make it that far. Mm-hmm. But that was because I played on super hard mode and got yeah. burnt out. Like it seems like by the time um, you get to that first like big big city, I forget what it's called, Norfingrad or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of where everyone's just like, eh. This yeah. isn't fun anymore. It's just yeah, I'm done. It just yeah. peters out. I want to I want to interject real quick. Yeah. Eric, your tablet is making a light on the wall that the cat loves. That's my phone. Oh, your phone. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I just left. I, I was watching. I, I took my case off my phone because if it breaks, then I have to buy a new one. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going uh, balls to the wall at this point. I've dropped it since I've taken it out of the case. I've dropped it more times than I have with it in its case. But that's because it's super slippery in glass. Um, and it, 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 nothing's broken. Yeah. I haven't even chipped anything. There's no scratches or dents anywhere. And I'm like, the front and back are fucking glass. And nothing's happened yeah. to this thing Wait, yet. the back of that phone is glass, too? Yep. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, um, you don't have it. Up behind yeah. you. I mean, it's, you can yeah, look at the back it. is glass. The front's glass. So it's kind of crazy that I, nothing's happened. Yeah, when I had the, the <clears> Nexus 5, I, it always had a case on it. So I kind of yeah. forgot what the back even... Yeah, like, but I don't think it was glass either. Five, no, the back was not glass on five. So, um, gaming wise, it's not glass on yours either. Yeah, I just nobody to does up. it. Nobody does. It's probably it's, aluminum or plastic. It's, it's glass like. The S five has like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't even. I, don't, I actually know what it, what it is, but it's like coarse and yeah. And the mine's yeah. it's flat and it looks like a honeycomb. Your face is a honeycomb. Shut up. I went there. All right, guys. So let's let's just jump into this because I need to get out of here at eleven ish, eleven thirty maybe, just sooner than later. Um, what have we been up to uh, game wise in the past week? Um, I mean, I, I've played Fallout, so we'll get into that. I think you played a little Fallout. Yeah, I, I got it from Redbox. Okay, so I played <laughs> it for two days. Okay, uh, I got um, like six. We'll hours. Hold off, because we'll do Fallout, because, uh, um, I mean, I played a lot of Fallout. I played some other stuff, too. So, so. Anything significantly worth mentioning? Um, Child of Light is not worth mentioning. <laughs> this it is. is. No, it's not. Have you played it? Yes. I like it. It's it's all right. <laughs> I thought it was neat. It's all right for a $20 game, but... See, I didn't even pay $20 for it. Maybe that's why I like it, man. I, I paid <laughs> nothing for it. So. Oh, how'd you get it free? It was free one day for a while. Oh, wow. I don't know. No, I got it for... Months ago. It was like five bucks on like yeah. a sale. Yeah, I mean, I, I got it for free, and I played oh, it Oh, you know what? I have it free on the PS3. I <clears throat> paid, like, five bucks for it on PS4. I got... I mean, I only played it on PS4, maybe Vita. I don't know. It's it's an all right game. I didn't hate it, but, I mean, it's not like something it. that I was like, I need to play through this. So... No, I mean, I'll, probably, I'll probably keep playing it. But also because it's, like, a year old. Who cares about that game anymore? I played Super Meat Boy last week, too. Yeah, I hate that. It's a weird I, game. Yeah, yeah. I, I played that the other day. It's... It's interesting. It's just super hard mode Super Mario Bros. Yeah. That's the whole point of it. It's like single single tile and not like moving camera. And... Yeah, I mean, it, it's little like obstacle courses and puzzles. You have to figure yeah. out the best way to like wall jump and run. And well, yeah. Super Meat Boy, SMB, Super Mario Brothers. That's, that's their inspiration for yeah. it, is to make the super hard mode of Super Mario Brothers. It's a funny story. It, they were like the little animations and stuff for you it. You know, at least it's like, it, it's, it's quick yeah, and even yeah, you can die a million times, and it just it reloads instantly, yep. so you don't have any sort of yeah, which is pretty neat. It's real quick to just keep trying, and none of the, none of the levels are long. Yeah, so if you die in them, it's not like oh, yeah, I have to do all of that over again. Yeah, but Super Meat Boy's like yeah, I played it on Steam like years ago, but it yeah, was, it's, it was mouse and keyboard <clears throat> when I was playing it, so it was well, maybe even you harder. Should have gotten a controller. Why? So that you can play it properly on my laptop that barely plays it. <laughs> Come on! I, mean, I couldn't play Braid on this. That, that's how 
Yeah. That astounds me because I can play Diablo on it. Yeah, Diablo runs okay. That doesn't make sense. Final Fantasy me. ran okay on it. Right. Braid would not. That doesn't make like, sense. Like it ran, but like frame rate super sluggish, like it that, was just it was bad. That makes no sense. That's weird. I, I I didn't understand it either. It might just be because it's getting older and I probably need to like clean it up some. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Anywho. Probably. Anything else significant? Um I don't no? think so. I didn't think so. I bought Until Dawn. I'm probably gonna play that today. Oh yeah, that looks cool. It was it was thirty bucks or something like that. Is that yeah. the zombie one? No, no, it's the it's the it's the, the horror, horror game. movie one. Horror it kind of plays like Heavy Rain or Beyond oh, Two okay. Souls with with Hayden Panettiere. Yeah. Okay. You're a bunch of teens in the woods and somebody's killing you. Okay. Yeah. That game looks really cool. My my uh, Aldrich cousin has it. It's my friend Josh. He's got it. Um, he he thinks that he's he, he likes it. He's played through it multiple times just to yeah, see different endings. Yeah, because every time it's a different ending almost every time. You yeah. can have different combinations. People dead or alive. Yep. A lot like like Heavy Rain. Just like Heavy Rain and shit. So it's, cool. so it's it's House in the Woods. More or less. The video I mean, game. yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's as cliche horror story as it gets. A bunch That's of teens awesome. go to a cabin in the woods and then bad is, shit happens. Is there a merman? No. Damn. No, You're it's not. You're thinking of Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, yeah it, it, that's what I meant. It doesn't go straight Cabin in the Woods, but yeah, it's it's just one of those. Like, it's there's guys there trying to kill you, more or less. But yeah, yeah, there's not some big. From what I hear, there's not some big twist like comedic moment. It's yeah. Oh yeah, it I actually mean, plays like a horror movie. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, woods, yeah. which is kind of cool. And it's like you pick which monster. Well, it was probably always the same monster, but it's not a monster. It's it's like two guys, okay. like guys there trying to kill you. It's yeah, like, not. There's a when we say it's like it Cabin out. in the Woods. I mean the basic premise of like every horror movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so like B list horror movie. Teens go to a cabin. Bad things happen, but bad things are always the same bad things. It's just these bad guys trying to kill. It. They put you in like saw like situations and shit too, which is kind of <laughs> yeah. Cool. Like you, you so, can either um, yeah. escape from them or die, and it doesn't affect like you're. You'll still keep going if a character dies, which is cool. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of neat. So yeah, it's neato. It there's a lot of stuff like interactions that if you if you do them early it could screw you later on and vice versa like if you pick up a weapon early in the game instead of like leaving it there when you get to that point later on again you might not be able to save yourself mm-hmm. oh, okay it's interesting yeah it's, it's, it looks pretty cool it's neat uh what else anybody final fantasy 14 no there was a new patch that. update yeah so we're doing a new dungeon I yes, some new armor. I wasn't too happy with it. I didn't think so. It was um, two new dungeons, a new twenty-four man raid. Oh boy! And um, uh, uh, an exploratory thing, which it's hard to explain, but it's not really a dungeon, but it is a dungeon, right? So, like, you make your group, and if you make your group at your free company, you can do it through your free company. You take, go to this place, and it gives you one objective you have to do, mm-hmm. which is get the aether current so your thing can fly. And at every point after that, you get you have to complete three objectives. Once you complete those, you can leave. And it's like every monster you kill drops a chest. You open the chest, and there's a possibility of getting a reward. Because you, you can really only greed roll everything. I didn't get anything the entire time. I was pissed off. Um, and well, I played that's, for... That's MMOs. I played yeah. for like... We did that for... I think it's a 90-minute timer that they give you. Yeah. We did that for 85 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get a single reward. And mm-hmm. we grabbed 30 treasure chests. Mm-hmm. I was pissed. Because there was only eight of us. So it's like, essentially, I should have at least gotten three rewards. Yeah. No. One person was getting them all. Yeah. Um, it was, was a neat... His name Rob Vogel? Because that's usually how that works when you play games. <laughs> no. That guy yeah. gets all the good shit. He like does. Yeah. He really does. Like, we, we play Destiny, and every time, like, an exotic drops, it's Vogel's character found something. Vogel's character found yeah. this. Vogel's character. Like, motherfucker, log it, off so I can yeah. find something. In D&D, he's the one always, like, getting the magic items. No, really. I, I mean, well, he found the one chest and got three magic items and handed them out. And I think anyway. he's gotten another magic item here that I can't remember. I think he did. But anyway. Um, anyway but, uh, yeah, it was... The, the dungeons and the raid are cool. The raid, I can't figure out what it's referencing yet. But it does have Kate Sith in it. Oh. So, and um, Diablos is the boss. It's probably going to be one of the bosses. Right. Because it's, um, it's a three-segment raid, probably, just right. like Crystal Tower. Yeah. It's called Void Arc. So, or the first one was the Void Arc. You're s- Sky Pirates, and then you go through the, the ghost ship, the Void Arc, and you do all this stuff, and then cutscene happens and yeah. Kate Sith shows up I was so happy Kate Sith I was like Kate Sith yes wasn't there a ghost ship in 6 5 
I think it was Ghost Ship in five. I don't remember. So it might have to be something with that. Because uh, you were you were pirates, but you were you were on on in the water pirates with the one character who uh, everybody thought was a dude, but ended up being a girl. <laughs> um, because she was like the lead pirate, and everybody just thought she was a guy. But then they, they did a, 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 an eight bit character reveal that she was a girl, and I was like, I still don't see it, but okay. <laughs> um, and she was the lead pirate, and you guys were floating, and then there was a ghost ship that you guys got stuck at, um, and you had to find your way out uh, in this like ghost ship graveyard, which was kind of cool. So uh, maybe it's may- going toward maybe. that. Maybe because after you defeated the thing, the cutscene for it is it cuts open a void in time space and. Mm-hmm. Diablos comes and grabs a, a, a thing, it looks like a coffin, and yeah. brings it down into the void, and then the void closes. It's Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. I mean, that'd be cool if it was more right. Final Like, Well, they kept saying, like, right. like, she and a woman, so I'm like, is it Genova? No. Like, are they going to try and do something like that? No. I mean, they did Cloud of Darkness in the, uh, in the last one. Eh. And it was literally just the face, and it would disappear and come back. Yeah. And you're you're fighting her at the corner of the stage. Yeah. And then like she would circle around it. She wouldn't come onto the stage. It was right. it was a neat fight. Well, female bad guys would be Adele and Ida from Eight. Okay. Um, Does the evil queen thing in Nine count? Braun. Yeah, because she was taken over by like the mist monsters. I know, but... or something. So I wouldn't really count, and she wouldn't fit in a coffin. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's kind of broke. well. It's probably no, like a demon a coffin. So like once it opens, magic comes out. Well, if it's ma- you know Adele would be sorceress Adele, like the the like lead bitch. Yeah, she sorceress. Was really, I, from what I can remember, she's the only female yeah, villain. I think she's the only like female villain. Villain. Uh, cloud of darkness was heavily referenced to be a woman, but it was a cloud of darkness. Uh, and they already did cloud of darkness, right. which was a woman. So right. four was. Oh, Barry, I forget his name. Uh, yeah, five, five, was Cloud of Darkness five or three? Um, I mean, three. <laughs> Those are the two I didn't play, so I honestly yeah. Know. Five was good. I liked five a lot because it was it went back to the job system, which was cool. I have it Six on GBA. I bought it off of eBay. Though. I, I do want to try it eventually. Yeah, it's worth it. Um, yeah, um, it, yeah, yeah, maybe Adele, unless they're pulling something mm, that they're I, just making. I mean, around. I think they. For the most part, with Crystal Tower, like none of the characters referenced anything, but at the end of it, you fought the Cloud of Darkness. Yeah. But I mean, if this guy's pulling things from time and space, it could. Yeah, like, that's the thing that I was all really hoping for with fourteen was like when we were seeing Magitek armor and the gold saucer and all, and, and all like the pre stuff. Yeah, you know, before it came out, I was like, you know, if they just pull shit from random games and just say like there's something wrong with the time stream, yeah, or, or the you know, the life stream and it's pulling things from different universes and worlds to here, that'd be fucking awesome. And, and they they kind of did that with the Lightning Returns events, yeah. and well, that also fit in with Lightning Returns because she was traveling through time yeah. machine anyway. So, uh, and so, like, I mean, I don't really, like I said, I don't necessarily know if it is yeah. pushing towards anybody. It'd be cool. I mean, most a lot of the bosses of the new content, like, of the patch updates, not of the actual game. Yeah. Just the patch updates tend to be references of previous bosses. Yeah. Uh, like Diablos, who is in this, you actually fought him before in Lost City M- Mdepor, and he was, like, the end boss of that one, and Diablos was a uh, summon in eight. Yeah. And it's that that's referencing that because it looks just like him except HD. Yeah. Um, I'm trying. To, they they've had de- like four demon walls. Oh, stuff yeah. like that. I like, just want one, but yeah. You know. But yeah. So I mean, I'm just the story for the raid was good. I just I, I'm I'm upset with what they threw in because it wasn't a lot. Yeah. Like I know it was just a patch update, but the straight up storyline update was. I think it took me two hours. I mean, the thing is, like, and, and not, not defending them or anything, but your 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 quarterly patch updates, your quarterly updates, are only gonna. I mean, they were huge when it first started because they had so much that they had yeah. created that they needed to put back in, and now they're probably getting to the point where they're doing actual new content, not content that they had yeah. made already but didn't get to put in before they revamped it all yeah so now this is new content so it's a little bit less it's going to trickle in slower yeah there's also probably less money coming in weekly and you know all that fun shit so not weekly monthly but yeah there's less money flowing in so there's fewer uh you know not as much money to put into new stuff so yeah do, so it, I, well i it's mean an mmo it on, honestly there there might have actually been more money because of 
Heaven's Ward, a lot more people jumped in. I mean, they're going to jump in, and then they're going to jump out. And yeah. It's just... Well, yeah, the newbies went and realized, like, oh, in three months, there's going to be new content. It's it's like Destiny's yeah. the same way, you know? Yeah. Like, like, jumped in. Is there an month. update in Destiny coming up soon? There is. Yeah. yeah. There's a, 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 their first major patch of uh, 2.0. Is coming or year two rather is coming next week. There you go. If I get an Xbox One, I can get Destiny on it. Great. Then you'll then have you'll no be fun. a year behind us. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you'll have no fun. I would be behind anyway and not have any fun. He'd have no fun because he'd have nobody to play yeah. with. Um, yeah, I mean that's always an option. Yeah, like the, no, that would be a terrible idea. <laughs> like, I think you I should do it. I don't want it on the PS4. Why would I want it on another console? Because then you could get it on a console that no one can play with you on. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Um, like, yeah. Well, I mean, I like, don't want to play with people, I so I mean, it does kind of make sense. The one thing that drives me crazy with these patches is. I'll give you a patch update. Yeah. Here's 10, 12 new story quests, and here's two new dungeons. But the two new dungeons, or the raid, doesn't include the story. So you have to go find them separately. And a lot, where I'm like, you could have threw those into the story. Yeah. This way. Because it was literally all story. It was all talk until the very end where you do all this stuff in the very end. Mm -hmm. it, and it, it was an event thing, but only you could do it. So it wasn't a dungeon. Yeah. And so I'm like, why? Yeah. I mean, it's you got it. Of... You got an MMO with a story, but the story is you only. Yeah. Like it just to me, that doesn't make sense. Destiny was the same way. It's in all in every like story cutscene. It's you are referenced as the guardian who defeated yeah, Crota, and, and you are the person who did this. In, in fourteen, so. you're the hero of light. Yeah, so but it's, it's like you are that guy. But in Destiny, you you could play every mission as three players, except for the specific ones where it was well, to get the. And in Final Fantasy, if you were going into a duty that was story based, yeah. it was just you. No, I know. But I mean like it's the idea is like they all tend to make it centered around you as opposed to a group you yeah. a, a singular you. That's just how they do. It's yeah. not it would be nice if it was the group you, not the singular you. Yeah, like, this way you could feel like you as a group are part of something as opposed to you yeah. as a person. But then you as a person feels less significant. Like, so that's they, kind of the idea. They introduced the heroes of darkness. Heroes, multiple. Well, because but we're only one hero of light. Well, because it's widely known there are multiple heroes of light, but you are the hero of light because yeah. there's only one of you. It's just one of yeah, those. It's, it's just storytelling inconsistencies. But even with Destiny, it's like the, the raid for Destiny... Although it exists, it wasn't really part of the main story. Cause yeah. You finished the main story, and then the raid opened up for you to do. Yeah, and afterwards, it's, and it's a separate this, thing. And it's like, well, you know, at least for, why not include that to like the end point of the story? Like, okay, well, we're detecting that Crota is still alive. Go here. Here's a quest well, to do. Which it. I mean, in 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 um, Oryx, they kind of did that with the quest. Kinda, kinda, kinda. But I mean, like. To get that, you had to do every other quest, though. Yeah. In order to get the quest to go to the raid to do the raid. But you could do the raid before getting that quest. Because they had two raid quests. But you had to do... But you had to do every other quest to unlock the last raid quest, which is worthwhile, because you got a pretty decent pe like, piece of gear from it, but... It's like shit, bro. Well, at least that's better than like how WoW used to do it. Yeah, I don't know if you remember how the rating in that worked. It just—it was had... just there. <laughs> no, it's not even that. You had to get attuned to a lot of them before you could actually do them. I don't remember that. Maybe well, it was a, just a later one. Well, then thing. you have to like go up and like find a like like find the entrance and attune to it, and then you could do no, it. You actually had to do like a minor, at least a minor quest chain before you could even well, get to. That's, oh, yeah, I mean, that's I how it is that. in Final Fantasy to get like to get the raid or to get the. The new dungeons, it's you go, you talk to this guy, right, or they'll talk to you. And it's it. like each dungeon has its own small story. Yeah. And so you talk to this guy, you go over here, talk to that guy, you unlock the new dungeon, or you unlock the new raid. So, yeah. But this was usually something a little more like in depth than well. Uh, yeah. yeah. I never did any That's why I never yet. really got into the raids, because just to do them, were, it was such a pain in the ass. And I think yeah. like, each time an expansion came out, they ended up. Like negating that for the previous one, so yeah. if you wanted to go do Molten Core for some reason after Burning Crusade came out, you just could. Yeah. They they if, did that with Coil. Every time, every time a new five of Coil came out, they released the original the the previous five for uh, matchmaking. Yeah. So I mean, Alexander was always matchmaking. So I don't. They haven't released yeah. any more Alexander yet. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just remember in WoW there was a. Uh, I mean, was Zolgarub was that? A raid or just a Ted man? Well, 
that a, a ten man is still a raid for them because they knocked everything down slowly. Well, I mean, back in the day, I think that was still considered a raid. I think it was just considered a ten man raid. Well, yeah, but I mean, ten man versus a forty man is what I mean. No, yeah, I think it was just a uh, a, a ten man. A ten man. Yeah. So that was the the highest I ever did was a ten man. Anything I never did anything over that and well, so because that shit scared me and you know there weren't really any pugs in our yeah fucking guild was shit because everybody hated our pink tabards so nobody wanted to join us <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a fucking pink tabard yeah. it was awesome why wouldn't you want to wear that shit yeah i know like and, and we're the and champions then, of all time and then on and top of that who cares just don't wear a fucking and tabard the thing, and the thing is the cupcake guild ha- was the biggest guild in our server yeah i'm like you're kidding me right like cupcakes Better than the champions of all times. We also and, ran into the problems where the we didn't do anything as a group, really, yeah. to be able to convince other people it was worthwhile. Pretty much. Like, we didn't have... If, if we did, like, five of us, or, like, four of us and pulled in, like, a fifth, or, like, five of us and pulled in five pumps yeah. to do a thing, like, hey, see, we do this often. You guys want to join us? That would have been good, but yeah. Shad was too busy working on 30 characters. And, anyway. And I don't think any of us were ever level cap at the same time. And, no. Yeah. We all eventually got there, but, yeah. It was I, the it, thing. It always happens with MMOs where, like, oh, let's start a guild, and then yeah. things like what happened with us in Final Fantasy, let's not invite people till we're level cap. That that defeats the purpose of us having a guild. Then yeah, it was kind of dumb. I mean, half of what I and I, I ever use a guild for is just chat, chat, and if you need somebody for something, it's, yeah. it's an easy place to go. Hey, does anyone want to come do this? But see, the downside is if there's only eight of us in it and everybody's on different levels, nobody wants to come in yeah. and help. And then it's like, well, if we open this up to randos right away, then yeah, it's. it's I was just I was never yeah. a big fan of like those randos. No, no, I hate random. Well, I hate them too. But I was never a big fan of the set schedules. Like, oh, you have to be on every Wednesday so we yeah, can no. run this. No, oh, fuck that. Yeah, I have the n- static. That's, we, I've always, 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 in, even in like Destiny and and WoW and or like everything. It's like I've always been a, a proponent against that shit. Like, like you can no schedule, like you schedule it ahead of time. Yeah. for something that long, you're like, all right, so on Tuesday we're going to go run whatever. Yeah. But it's not, no, every Tuesday we're not going to come do or, this. Or like when I say, hey guys, we're going to run the Destiny raid on this Friday. And everybody's like, okay. And Vogel's like, I have to log off at 10 because I have to go to bed. Motherfucker, we're not starting till 8. We don't have enough time to do this yeah. shit. You asshole. Yeah. I mean, asshole. We, we tried to do a static with Coil um, <clears throat> when there was a Coil uh, 11 through 14 yeah. was released. And we couldn't get through the, the third run of Coil. And just, no, we couldn't hold on to the, the static. We made a static. Everyone agreed. Everyone was like, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, whatever. No one would show up. It would be like, I would I would show up. At Tuesday. It was like, Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. That's what we were doing. Yeah. We would all, maybe seven of us would show up each week, or six of us. Yeah. And we'd have to find two randos. So it's like, we gave up after two weeks. It's like, yeah. we're not doing it. No, we statics can't. are just, they're not fun. Like, <laughs> Like this video game is it's it's for fun, not my job. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you know? I'll tell you. Like if we want to, like if we want to schedule off a one time, sure. You want to give you want to give Coil a go, and we can jump on on Tuesday. Sure, it sounds like fun. Yeah, but if you want to tell me to be there every Tuesday, I'm not gonna do it. Well, and and that's just because that's the whole gear drop. It's like oh, we need to get everything, so I need to run Coil. Coil one seven times so that we can get the one piece of boots that I need to complete my outfit from nope. that run. Nope. It's like, no, no, we're running it once. Yeah. We're running one through five once. If I choose to run it again, I'll run it with you. If not, yeah. then I'm not. It's a whole thing. Fucking. It's gear drops, man. MMOs, man, and gear drops. They're ridiculous. Gear drops. They're ridiculous. It's kind of why I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm not playing Destiny right now. I was talking to, to these guys yesterday because now I'm, I'm into Fallout. I'm glad I'm on a single player game now. Because having played Destiny, it was hard for me to like play games at night because of the baby. And at any moment, she could need me. So if I'm in the balls deep in like raid or a dungeon, I can't pause it. Yeah, everyone's gonna die because I'm not paying attention anymore. Yeah, so I can't do anything. So now that I'm playing Fallout, or you know, I had Witcher and everything too, but in a single player game, it's like baby needs to be paused, switch to TV mode, do something with her. And yeah, I'm, I might be able to get a pretty decent amount in Fallout. It's kind of yeah. and, and when when the baby gets older and can it doesn't have to eat every couple of hours, or she's doing pretty good. Now. Yeah, she is doing good. Um, you weren't then, here when we were feeding her last night, huh? 
You weren't over when we fed her last night? No. We gave her solid food. We've been trying solid foods with her for like three weeks, four weeks now. They tell you to start at four months. We waited till five months because we're dumb. But so we've been doing pretty good giving her solid foods every night. We started with avocados. She didn't hate it. But she didn't know how to eat. She just kept spitting it up. When you say solid foods, do you mean like baby foods? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like oh, crushed up. Crushed just mushed up, up stuff. Um, because I don't like the idea of buying packaged stuff unless it tells me exactly that there's nothing in there besides this food. You know, because I, I don't need her having all the preservatives. Man, bullshit. said the guy that ate like hey. Chick fil A breakfast every day. No, that's. <laughs> look, I, I'm different. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. But as the baby, you know, I'd rather her. Because it's so easy to just make food for a baby because all you're doing is buying something and mashing it and then adding like water or milk to it to make it liquidy. That's it. Yeah. It's all it is. It's all the baby companies do. But then they add a bunch of preservatives and shit to it so that you can open the jar and close the jar and let it sit for two weeks. No, I'm not doing that. You know what, though? Those, like, fruit-flavored baby foods and stuff like that are fucking delicious. Well, I, I'm not denying that. But it's just fruit, and all you have to do is mash up fruit, add some yeah, water to it. And, and, and they, work. they have a baby bullet as well, so it's not yeah, even well, work at all. I, yeah, it's just, all you need is a thing. But anyway, um, so we tried avocado, and she didn't hate it, but she spit it up because she didn't know how to eat food yet. Then we tried yams, and she didn't seem to like those. But we're going to try to give her candied yams on, on uh, Thanksgiving because that'd be funny as hell. Like, brown sugar and yams would be She's awesome. She's going to go off. <laughs> off a lot. It'd be hilarious. Um, then we tried oatmeal for like two weeks, and she hated oatmeal. But last night, Audra got, she went to Babies R Us, and they gave her a sample of Gerber Organics, um, like baby food. And it's, it's butternut squash and water. That's all that's in this thing. So we just gave her some of that, and she loves it. Hmm. So we finally got a solid food that she's going to start eating. Nice. And we're just going to keep trying other stuff. And eventually, eventually we won't have to give her bottles anymore, which would be nice. Really nice. Do you ever um, mix, do, do you like mix her food with the breast milk? So this yep. way it's like, it was, it was powdered oatmeal and breast milk. Okay. And she just, she just hated it. No matter yeah. what consistency we tried. You know, oatmeal is an acquired taste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't like oatmeal. Well, see, either, you so. have to get like the flavored oatmeal. Well, that's what we're going to do now: is maybe try the oatmeal and then some of this like Gerber stuff and see how that goes. Yeah. Downside is the Gerber stuff is only tw- it's only good for twenty four hours after being opened. So we, and it's a pretty big pouch. So yeah. we have to use the whole pouch within twenty four hours. Mm. I mean, you could do it. Could if you split it into four and do a breakfast, dinner, breakfast, dinner. But I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. She's doing good though. That's anyway. neat. Anyway. It's Anything neat. else to report on Final Fantasy fourteen? I almost have a level sixty heal. Don't care. <laughs> That's about it. So nothing good. So it's pretty much shit. Nobody should play it. It's a great game. So he said it's shit. Nobody should play. It. No, Moving it's, on. It's a great game. It's just it wasn't it was as much patch. as I expected. It, it was. Did you watch all the shows this week? I did watch all the shows this week. Flash Anything was important. fantastic. Flash was fantastic. Ridiculous. You know, I like, heard, I was thinking that um, Zoom. Could have been Earth Two Barry, but I'm not sure now because he's a fucking beast. He, he, he still could be though. I mean, like, I, I know it's possible, but he physically he's just he looks taller, yeah. bigger. I don't know how they could yeah. pull that off. I but was, at the same time, he has a full face mask, so it's hard to yeah. They, like it could be anybody. Eric, literally for Flash, I was sitting here, and then the intense part happens, and I'm just like the, like white knuckling. Like, holding yeah. on the entire time, like, holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. And then, and then they, because after the, the show, it, like, they do a quick flash to something. Like, uh. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't even realize I was saying that until I said it. <laughs> but, like, like they'll, they'll get done the story and yeah, then yeah. it'll, like, flash. And then the credits thing, I guess. Yeah, it's a little tag at the end yeah. of the Yeah. It's not even after credits, else. though, but it's, it's like. What it, and but yeah, shields. it's, it's God a, damn it, just go. I'm just saying, <laughs> we like, get it. They do that, and it was when they they did it. It was still Barry. It wasn't a different character, and it was like, holy shit, what happened? Oh, there? oh my flash. god! Oh my god! So we're, like, gonna, we're gonna start calling tags flashes now, only are, on Flash. Whoa. Are you caught up on Shield? No, I missed this week's. But you saw last week's. Yeah. Did you guys talk about that last week? Where the the bag? Where the uh, well, lashes? Who lashes? Yeah. Like briefly, like I think yeah, it's wild. briefly, was, yeah. That that was, and they, they get into it more this episode. Like yeah. that's what the new one was about. That's but pretty cool. It was a good I episode. did not see that coming. No, no, I mean, no. like of like, all, I could have swore it was going to be like, like, like one of those ATC guys, yeah. guys or whatever. Uh, the ATC, but like, yeah, to make it the doctor. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, I didn't see that coming. 
May's going to want to kill him now. It's going to be awesome. Wait till you see this this coming episode. Yeah. yeah. I'll try to, depending on when Audrey gets her homework done today, we might watch There's it two today. other things I want to ask you guys about relating to shows. Um, did you watch Arrow last week with Constantine? Yes. What did you think of that? Um, he said I, it was too fast. Yeah, it, it felt rushed. Like, it was just, if Constantine was still a show, they could have done it properly. But because Constantine doesn't have a show, they had to, like, well, bang it through. Apparently, they also, um, Matt Ryan, he's on a Broadway play right now with Kira Knightley. Okay. Huh. That, he, he, it's every day. Like, those yeah. things don't really, they have, like, a day off, I think, usually, it's or usually two. Mondays. Yeah. Um, so he was flying out in the morning when he had a free morning to film scenes, flying back to do the play at night, and then the next time he had free time, flying back to Vancouver. Yeah. That's so hilarious. he filmed, like, he didn't have time to film a lot. That's why they just had those few f- little flashbacks. And then yeah. what was it? Maybe seven minutes at the end. Where yeah. He was actually there in the present. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. It's still cool. They did it. Yeah. It was, they, they could have gotten all the scenes done in one, one day. Pretty so much. I'm just telling you, I mean, uh, you know, if, if he, if his show were still long, we would have actually seen the two of them meet properly. In the yeah. Show. Yeah. It would have been like, <laughs> cause I think I said it last week. I was like, it was pretty much, he helped him on the island. I owe you one. Or you, yeah, it was. No, um, they totally have more of a history there because why, why else did Oliver just happen to have his cell phone number? When and, right, and I had said no this, phone? I said this, but like all the show was 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 Oliver helps him on the island, and then Constance, he's like, I owe you one, and then he leaves, and then when it shows, like that's the the past, and then when it shows, then it's like you owe me one, okay, and then they show up. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they they've definitely got more of a history between them than they just, just the island. Really get into but they, yeah. they basically they had enough time to show us how they met and why Oliver would even know them. Yeah, yeah. in the context to this season, because it's not like you can just sh- randomly show a different flashback not happening on the island right now. Yeah, so I mean that that works. Sure, you could. Well, they show whatever it. you want. They can do whatever they feel like. What? <laughs> I mean, they're the showrunners. They can do what the f- they want. Yeah, but I, it does seem like they're they're rushing to get the characters back now too. Like, because they brought, um, uh, I was, they brought Sarah back really quick at the end, and it was just, like, yeah. they brought her back, and then nothing for the rest of that episode. And then yeah. last, this week's was Ray, and they just seemed, there wasn't a lot of build-up for that either. As soon as they found out that Ray was alive, it's just like, all right, we got him. Yeah, like, they, they found out he was alive, they did all this stuff to get him, and then it was just, all right, let's get him. And then at the end of it, I'm not ready to let people know I'm alive yet. Okay. And so he's probably not going to be on for like three episodes. Well, that's the thing. Well, no, because he's in Legends of Tomorrow, so no one knows he's alive. No one knows Sarah's alive. Yeah. And um, oh, they're the Legends of Tomorrow from and, yesterday. And then the the you get it <laughs> from yesterday. The the coffee shop girl that Cisco asks out two uh-huh. weeks ago. That's Hulk girl. Is that Hulk girl? Yeah. Okay. Fucking Hulk I didn't girl. Know is she gonna have the spike mace? I hope so. Probably. She does not be really upset. Isn't Hawk, Hawk guy in it as well? Hawkman's supposed Hawk to be in Man. it too. I hope Hawk he's Man. like the crazy who just wants to kill everybody Hawkman though. I, I, that's, that's my... I, hope, I hope Hulk guy shows up. I've seen an image of... It was an image of the, the Arrow Man, Bird Flash Dude, crossover and they're Bird working human. together. That's his name from who? Rick and Morty. Bird human? Oh, no. Rick and Morty. Harvey, but yeah, I, Harvey Birdman. Harvey Jimmy Birdman. Will. I really like the new Wells too. Earth 2 Wells. Yeah, he's He's, he's way better than the other Wells. He's just an asshole. Yeah, all the time. Like he's not he's not polite to them. Like the other guy was a villain and and didn't mind killing them. Yeah, but he was really nice to them. Well, you know, just trying to keep his identity. And everything. No, because even after that, like he was a lot colder and more sinister. But he wasn't ever like evil towards them. Well, you know, he but, still had a relationship. But like this guy, he's like, I don't know you. I don't care about you. Fuck you. I don't care. Well, yeah, um, and and it's all because of what's going on in his life. Yeah. Why he's like that. But yeah, yeah. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, Flash was good this week. Oh, that's the other thing. Did you have you watched Grimm yet? Uh, f- at least the first episode, maybe the second one also. Uh, this week's we did not watch yet. Okay, well that's that's still good enough. Is it weird the whole Nick Adelin thing that they're like? Hey, you know what? I think I only saw the first episode. Okay, so you only saw the the baby. Yeah, baby the baby born. being born, and then the two of them are kind of like all. I mean, like, they weren't, like, together, but they were just, like... They're friendly. They are just, like, okay, let's just do this. They move in together. Okay, yeah, I didn't... So... That makes sense. So, it's a real throwaway scene, but in episode two... Yeah. Nick is in his kitchen making sandwiches. (laughs) (laughs) She comes in, and 
he he offers her a sandwich, and she goes, "Sure, but no tomato. I'm allergic." And he goes, "Well, that's good to know." God. And then they start talking about making like pasta sauces and stuff because apparently she's only allergic to raw tomato. Oh my god! And like it was just one of those scenes like. His entire life is shit. Yeah, because of her. Uh huh. One hundred percent because <laughs> it's of so her. So funny. Are, like, his, are you trying to anti ship this ship? Yes, because well, look, <laughs> his his ex fiance were they actually engaged or were no? They never got engaged. Yeah. So his, his no. girlfriend that went crazy and got killed at the end of last year oh, went yes. crazy and got killed because of her. Yep. It's just it's a whole he thing. Ki- and- she killed his aunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was just ridiculous. That's so weird. everything was just like, wild. Pretty much every bad thing that's ever happened to this guy is her fault. Yep. And now they live together. But the thing is, conversely, everything bad that's happened to her was his fault too. So it's like, but they only felt- because she instigated stuff, <laughs> not necessarily. Because <laughs> look, every time that she's been in trouble, yeah, he has actually tried to help her. Well, it's because he's, he's a nice guy. But he could just cut her head off. Also, he's into her, so you know, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Indiana Jones, Ark of the Covenant, Indy didn't have to be there. I don't, that doesn't, that has yeah, nothing that, to do with anything. <laughs> just, just, nothing to do with anything. Well, watch the, the last two episodes when you get yeah, a chance, and I when you watch not. episode three, you'll yeah. probably hit that same point where you're like, yeah. what the fuck is going on I mean, with I'm this all, I was already there, like, last week. I was like, really? Like, Audra was, like, when we saw the first episode, she's like, wait, so they had, she's like, why is she having the baby so fast? I was like, because she's not pregnant in real life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was like she was pregnant in real life that's why it grew so fast last season and now it's like she's not pregnant in real life anymore so they're like oh let's just make her have the baby real fast instead of make her walking around with a prosthetic for fucking the whole season so yeah i mean they at least did a good job with that first episode making it seem like time had passed for a little bit no am i thinking of something different yeah no time passed there oh no, no i'm sorry yeah i'm thinking because they just kept showing you like at the beginning they showed those weird flashbacky things yeah. of that night it was wild. Um, I do like that show, though. I haven't even watched Once Upon a Time or anything this season. It's... Yeah. It's Once so, Upon remember a Time. last year when everyone went to the Enchanted Forest yeah, and then they came care. back and no one could remember? Yeah. That's how this season is, too. Yeah. They all went there and then they all came back and no one remembers what happened in between. Yeah, it's pretty much... Yeah. So, I'm kind of just like, whatever. We'll wait until we can just marathon it all or something. Yeah, so far, like... not thrilled with it i I wasn't thrilled with the first half of last season and then the second half of last season was was marginally better but still not enough to me what was even the second half of last season when the villains right the first half was frozen so this was two years ago where they went came back and didn't remember it was yeah um it's weird but this one is one of those seasons where all the flashbacks yeah way more interesting than anything going on in the present the the present is. is just frustrating that's how it always is. No, because generally, like, I've at least kind of liked what was going on in no, the present. No one likes like, it. Like, this time it's just, it's bad. No one like, likes it. Like, it's really, really bad. No one likes but it. But the past has Merlin. No. No. Unless and he's it, like... Unless he's, it has Yen Sid, no one cares. No, it's Merlin, and he's he's this young, suave black dude. No, we need, we need Yen Sid. I want a show that does flashbacks to do flashbacks of during the time of the show. So they I'm already confused. Old I'm already <laughs> confused. That's, that's kind of what Walking Dead did on that first episode. It wasn't showing stuff that we'd already seen, but they were well, flashing well, back into no. like the same time period as the show. So like yeah. Arrow does flashbacks, and it's usually five years prior. Well, really? next season, five years prior, is going to be the first season of Arrow. So I want them flashing back to the first season. Of That'd be Arrow. pretty good. You know, they never really went into. Do you? Could, yeah, because you just watched it, so you should remember this. In the I think it was the first episode. Um, him and Tommy get kidnapped. Yeah, and he bra- Tommy's knocked out. He mm-hmm. breaks free and he goes and kills all of them because they can't yeah. know that Oliver Queen can beat people up. Yeah, and like Tommy opens his eyes at one point and they just do that like zoom in on him, like it was going to lead to something. Yeah, but then like nothing ever happens with that and it just ends up you know Tommy eventually finds out that he was Arrow and he gets pissed at him for a while mm-hmm. and then he dies. Tommy was concussed, so when you're concussed, you're, you like he probably I don't think he saw clearly, and so <sighs> I still feel like they could do something with that. They could, they could. But why would they? Or maybe they're saving it for a rainy day. Because you know what? apparently fans really liked that guy, so that'd be a good reason to bring him back. People got real excited last year when they brought him back for like a flashback in an episode. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They did bring him back for a flashback. Well, you know, maybe they're just saving it for a rainy day. Maybe a rainy day. Well, I mean, their entire format's about to be ruined because they're out of past. <laughs> I suppose. We'll see what they do. They're going to change it all up, like the Muppets. Did you guys hear what the Muppets are doing? <laughs> they're. I just know that they're retooling. They're re- they're going to do a reboot. 
at the midseason. Yeah, I mean, because. Yeah. And the, the showrunner left. Yeah, yeah, like the, the show two show showrunners actually. argued, so the one left, and a, n- a new person's coming in to like co-showrun it. Yeah, and they're just they're going to change the show for the last six episodes. I yeah, I mean it depends on how they change it. We'll see, but yeah, they keep saying they're going to retool the whole thing. I don't know what it, that I mean, entails. As long yet. as it's still exactly as it is, I'm okay. Nope. <laughs> Miss Piggy of, Show is going to be canceled. They're going to get rid of the Miss Piggy Show thing and make it more like the movie. Like the first Muppet movie where they were just kind of like no. celebrities that I like hadn't this worked. Miss Piggy show thing. Because I like the celebrities at work bullshit thing. I love the way... I love the Office vibe. It's Dude, so good. I lo- th- This past week with Jason Bateman was fantastic. I didn't see I didn't watch this one oh, yet. Yeah. He's not on the show. He's just Jason Bateman at a place that Kermit's at. And yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. Because he's like... He's such an asshole. Yeah. I hope they don't change it too much. But yeah. All right. You want to talk about Fallout now? Does that cover the rest of you guys' <laughs> TV bullshit? Yeah. I think so. Fucking TV, stupid as hell. Doctor Who? No, I haven't watched Doctor Who yet. Me I just either. watched it this morning. I haven't watched Doctor Who since at all this. Let's season. spoil it all. I mean, he's the Doctor. He travels through time and he saves people. The Zion episodes. When you get to that, best episode so far. Yeah. Zion episodes. You know, every time you get to a new for episode, Capaldi. Yeah, every right. time you get to an episode, it's like best episode so far this season. Have we found out when he's done yet? He's still going to be around next season. Oh, man. All right. Now, this season, he's definitely... He feels more like the Doctor this season yeah. than he did last year. I didn't like him last season. L- like, last year, I, I feel like they weren't really sure how they should write him yet because they were going yeah. off of, like, this Matt Smith Doctor who was much more yeah. jovial, and they tried to make him too grumpy. This I mean, season, I, I, they seem to... They have the, the kind of, like, lighthearted humor going there, but still have, like, the... I did like, like, with last season, where he was, like, mostly confused because he's an old man. Like, I thought that was funny. Like, he's he's confused. He makes he's, zero sense, like, even more than previous yeah, he's doctors. He's very sarcastic and, this year, yeah, like, like, more I, so than he was. I liked that, but it just didn't really, like, work. He is, he is what, 3,000 years old? No... Uh, Somewhere between like twenty five hundred and three thousand. Yeah, because yeah, so. so. Matt Smith aged three hundred extra years in the Christmas special. <laughs> was it three hundred? Like, okay, I couldn't answer. remember exactly how much. Plus, it was the a couple thousands of years that he aged just because he kept aging. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> well, hilarious. If you go back to David Tennant, he's eight hundred and nine, I think, yeah. during um time of the, or day of the Doctor. Yeah, and Matt Smith is like twelve hundred. Yeah. No, here's the best part. Matt Smith. Aged, what was it, four hundred years during the eight, during the Kill the Doctor era, like when he when they went and um, he met with them, and yeah. then he was killed, and then the past ten came. Yeah, I think it was like a five hundred oh, yeah. year difference. Yeah, he didn't age a single bit. But then in the Christmas special, three hundred years turned him into the wrinkly old man. Well, was. the difference is because he was on that planet, so maybe and he didn't have the TARDIS he didn't either. Have the so TARDIS had- to protect him and and keep his body in the time stream from warping. Who knows? I mean, look, when David Tennant got aged, he turned into a little imp monster. Yeah, he did turn it. So. But that was like he nine thousand turned into years. fucking Dobby. So. Yeah. <laughs> And that was getting aged without shit. being able to and regenerate. Then, and stuff, then he yeah. Jesus back to life. Jesus, yeah. man, it's like, called just Jesus. believe. He floated, and <laughs> it was ridiculous. All right, neither of you guys have stars, right? No, I do. Have you watched Ash vs. the Evil Dead? Not yet. No, uh, no, I've heard it's good. But it is. It's really good, especially if you like the old movies. I've never watched them. They're fun. They're but goofy, campy. Your face is goofy and campy. Bruce Campbell's fun. He's all right. Lucy Lawless is apparently a badass in it, and I didn't see that coming. Yeah, <laughs> why not? She's fucking Xena. Because the first episode, you only see her in the first episode, and she just she seems like one of those people that just knows what's going on, but it's going to be kind of like a, an ancillary character. Yeah. And then this episode, a uh, fucking deadite comes out of the ground, and she grabs him by the throat, flips him onto a spike, and then starts cutting his face off with That's a magic knife. Pretty good. Yeah. I like it. A magic knife? Yeah. Nice. Like, is it like a steak knife, or just... No, it's, it's like an old <laughs> dagger-looking thing that apparently... Oh actually causes them pain because otherwise okay. they're like zombies they for whatever reason them. i was picturing a scalpel okay. I was, oh that would have been cooler right? if it was like a magic, a magic scalpel. scalpel no i was literally like was picturing like legs. a steak knife like it's rounded in one end and then jagged on the other no. it was like a scalpel i think it'd be kind of cool all right so go ahead talk about fallout uh it's good I mean, you can talk about it too you played it it's good move on now you want to talk about it i mean I, it's 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 really fucking good. I, yeah. I liked it more than I thought I would. Yeah, it's 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 a Bethesda game. So, you know, when when I realized that I hated Battlefront, 
um, I was like, well, I know I'm going to love Fallout, so let's get it. And yeah. I, lo- I love Fallout. I don't want to stop playing. I wish I was playing right now. I wish I was playing all night last night instead of playing board games with you guys. I wish I was doing a lot of things. Hey, you got it. You could, you could have kicked us out at any time to play. I thought about it, and then I, we were also supposed to go to Evans and drink and play Monster Hunter. So when was that supposed to happen? Yesterday. <laughs> Nobody even said anything to me about that. Yeah. Anyway, no one ever said anything to me about going to your house until you guys are already there and I had already had food. Well, they Shahid just wanted to come over and is he just over. down right now? Because I saw him posting videos yeah, and stuff too. I think he's, so. he's home, but he was texting me around like his bus noon. just left. He was he was messaging me around noon. Yeah, and I was like, well, I'm mowing the lawn, but I got to sh- when I'm done, I'll shower and you guys can come over. So then they came over and I played Fallout while they hung out with me for like yeah. three eight, four hours, he, and then he texted. At like two, I think, and he's yeah. like, "What's everyone's status?" And I'm like, "I'm playing Final Fantasy 14." And then five minutes later, I was like, "I'm getting a shower. I haven't eaten lunch yet." And then like half hour later, anybody want to go get food? And then an hour and a half later, hey, we're at Eric's. I'm like, "Oh, Eric, you're so classic, Anthony." He's like, "Here's walnuts." Asking about food, I was like, "I can get food." And he's like, yeah, and then he never replied to you. That's <laughs> classic. No. Never reply to Anthony. You know that. Well, no, when he said, here's Walnuts asking about food, that was him, Evan, and Shahed. Oh. It was a group Whatever. message, all three of them. Oh, right. And then when, Anthony, friends. Then when Anthony texted him, he's like, so are you coming over to get food? I was like, I got food already. Like, yeah. I just picked up food. What's well, your own fault? Anyway. But they left me out of the loop. Whatever. I watched everyone saying. out of the loop. But yeah, so it was nice of them to watch me play Fallout. <laughs> so, so how much Fallout have you actually played? I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. No, no. the question is, how long did it take you to make your character? Uh, so I, I spent 20 minutes changing the guy's face. <laughs> and I was like, all right, here we go. And then I was like, you know what? Whatever. And then I just set him back to default. Yeah, I mean, I just don't care. I goofed around with a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't. Because I, I just got it from Redbox, so it's yeah. like, well, I'm not going to dump time into this because yeah. I'm going to have it for two days, yeah. and I might not even like it, so, yeah. but... I, I just, usually, when it comes to, like, any game with character creation, I don't I don't care. That is enough. a really good yeah. character creator, though. It is it really is. nice. I did like it. I liked, I, um, you know, it's, it's you move to the point on your face and then select it and then make the changes then which I think is really cool yeah um, and there's there's a lot you can do with it and tons of you like you can age each different part of your face yeah you have older looking eyes and a younger mouth and everything which is it's fucking insane the detail when, when I just when I, I when I get it I'm going to get I'm going to make John Cena, and he's going to have strength, charisma, and agility there you go and I'm just going to run around hitting things with like bats or whatever yeah, go and for it. just and I'm going to have the John Cena theme is da, 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 da. John Cena. <laughs> there you go. That's that's pretty cool. That's a good one. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody's doing a playthrough with luck and charisma only. Nice. So I haven't, I saw a, a post on it. I didn't watch it or read it or mm-hmm. anything, but I somebody's mean, doing just those two. Charisma is good because you can just talk your way out of every situation. And luck is good because if you have Mysterious Stranger, then you pretty much win every fight but yeah. you have to get really high level to win everything what's mysterious stranger um when you use vats um and you have mysterious stranger on and and the higher your luck is and the higher i think mysterious stranger only has three stats that can go three points that can go into it to max it out is that just one of the things underneath yeah one luck? of the things under okay. luck so uh it, the higher your luck is and the higher that is there's a higher chance that when you use vats you select your enemy you go to shoot as you execute this dude shows up in a trench coat and a duster like in a duster in the hat and he just blasts and kills everything for you yes yeah. like, fucking awesome yeah he's been in it forever that and bloody mess are like the two best things you could get for combat what was bloody mess yeah, i do not five like percent extra damage and exploding things All right, yeah what I don't like the combat. No, like no. the I d- I don't like the shooting. Well, I mean, it's the shooting's never been the best part, even in Fallout Three and everything. And and I mean, even going back to Skyrim, the best has been Fats. So if if you really really hate the gunplay, I mean, it's also first person, which is something that uh, yeah, first to you. Gone. Um, you know, Vats is the way to go. So you'd want to pump agility and precision. Yeah. So like I, like <clears throat> I I've been using them when I when I need them, especially against the. Uh, I don't. I can't remember what, what, what they're called. The zombies. Yeah, ghouls. 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 There you go. That's what I thought it was. I couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, but just I don't know, none of the guns are very accurate at well, all. They're not, you're also early in the game. They're not going to be. Yeah. yeah. But it's one of those like, when you look down the sights. Yeah. You still don't have any better idea of what you're shooting at. 
depending on your gun and the sights you have yeah. installed on your gun. And then when it, when you're just shooting from the hip, the, the reticle is just huge, so yeah. you're not hitting much. Yep. But uh, the only weapon I've had any luck with is that um, the laser rifle thing you get. I hate that thing. I don't like it because every time you shoot it, you have to it's complete shit. recharge it. But at least it's it's the thing that I'm most accurate with. Um, I found, I mean, I found... Or the a, shotgun if I'm up close. Yeah. I found a pipe, like a pipe rifle, and it's got like, I found this random, like, something, something, something pipe rifle. The name's so long that the text is almost too small to read. Nice. Um, I, I don't know what it was. I found it somewhere, and I equipped it. It's got like a 50-shot a, a ammo clip. It's not auto-fire, so I just have 50 shots to pull the trigger. It does decent damage. It's like damage rating's like 28, so it's not huge, but it's better than my handgun that I was using forever, so why not? And it's higher than even that laser rifle. Um, that's it takes most of my agility, though. So it's I can get two shots off instead of four on it, so it's not too bad. Um, and I think if, I only get three shots. If I get two headshots, they it kills most things, like most people anyway so far, which is good. So, like, that weapon's been really useful for me, And but it's, it's aim down sights is just, like, a little iron sight at the front of it, at the front of the weapon, and it's not accurate at all. Yeah, that, so it's only good for me in, like, corridors when there's all these ghouls coming at me. I can just, like, aim down yeah, and like, shoot down I the corridor. Yeah, like, I just did, um, I haven't really done any of the story stuff. Because yeah. I, I did, like, the opening of the game. Yep. I went to that first town. I helped the people in the building. Yep, I did that. Um, I took out the, um... Death Claw, yep. which took me like five tries. <laughs> oh, well, you're just, silly. I didn't know. I I didn't know how to play at that point, so I didn't know. I I didn't know until like the third try that R L one was Vats or anything. Yeah. Um. So that was just a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how that how yeah. like the mechanics work. Wait, they set you up with a Death Claw early on. Mm-hmm. Is it's that like that your video? First major like, fight. I, so ma- the first major set piece, and this would be, uh, you know, in response to David, this is the answer to the question because this is the only set piece we've really hit so far. Um, is right in the beginning of the game. Now I found power armor elsewhere. Um, I got my first power armor before going to this mission. Oh wow! How'd you pull that off? If you go east. From, oh, were you just wandering around? Yeah, I, I never go in the direction you're supposed <laughs> to in these games. So I just went east, and I found an old robot yard. And in the robot yard, I found a fusion core. And then I kept going east, and I found a downed uh, military plane with a power armor sitting in front of it, which scared the shit out of me because I thought there was somebody in it, and they were going to kill me. But no, it's just a dead out. It's just let it sit in their power armor. No fusion core. Pop mine in, had a fusion core. Then I kept going east, and there's a satellite array, and there were a bunch of bandits there, and I just killed the fuck out of all of them nice if i went into that place without power armor i would have died because somebody in there had a minigun and fucked me up yeah even in power armor can you, how so, do you repair your power armor you just have to find new parts to it okay that's all there is to it so far anyway because i know it's something one of the tips or something said that it would you could repair it at the power armor station yeah so like i i took mine back to there and i went up and there was no option for it and mm-hmm. all of my stuff was broken so i ended up just getting out of it yeah because it wasn't it, it was, was just not useful anymore yeah. yeah uh yeah i think you have to find new parts to it plus so. my core was almost done like yeah. it was just above zero at that point yeah, i found so far i think i have like four cores on me what two of them are at like 50 percent, and the other two are full um do you eventually get, like, a core recharger or anything? No, or? you just have to keep finding cores. And okay. as you get further on, you're going to be able to find more, like, just on enemies. But, yeah, so I did that part. Yeah. Then I went with them back to Sanctuary. Yeah, I did that. I spent way too much time at Sanctuary. I yeah, I didn't spend... That was the first thing I did yesterday. I turned it on, and they're like, hey, follow us back to Sanctuary. I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Or maybe I did already. I don't know. But, yeah, I spent a lot of time there. Like, I went through... I, I, I checked every house for, yep. for stuff, and then I scrapped everything in every house. Yep. If the house, w- if the house was collapsed, I just scrapped the whole thing. Same thing, yep. Anything I found outside. Trees, fence, tires, fences, mailboxes, trees, yeah, signs, everything. everything gone. Yep. Uh, uh, to build your home So in your, your starting town, you can just... And it's not even just there. You can do it at the the Red Rocket Yeah, it's gas any place station. that is safe, you can do it to, apparently. Yeah, you okay. can just start building. Because you can just so, make settlements and then make that your main settlement. You can put up a, a radio tower, apparently, and get and more dwell settlers to that. Just, like, fucking shelter, shelter to yeah. pull people in. Yeah, so it's it's the first town, like, where you live in the opening and then, you know, where you emerge from, basically, afterwards. Like, you can just scrap the entire place and build things up. And there's a couple missions tied to it, like, just, they just want to teach you the basics on how to build and clear things and whatever. So, so you do that, and then you're free to do what you want. So you okay. know how you have to talk to, to Sturgis to yeah. 
to get that stuff to move along. Yep. He was on the roof of like the, the that one building that they're all at. <laughs> okay. And I'm. It took me forever to find him, and then I because re- I I didn't realize the quest thing. I could actually set it to that at first. Yeah. So I set it to that. I followed. I found him at the thing, and he's on the roof. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm going all around the building trying to figure out how the fuck do you get on the roof? Yep. I'm just no fucking idea. Yep. So I'm like I, I'm going through all my stuff I can build. I'm like building different levels of things to see if I can <laughs> jump on one to jump up right. there. After doing that for like 15 minutes, the dude just fucking walks off the roof. Yep. I'm just like. Bethesda. What the fuck? It's just Bethesda. It's and, unfortunate, but yeah. But at that point, because when you're in um when you're in build mode or whatever it's called, yeah. the little tool tips come up and tell you how to do everything that mm-hmm. you need to do. It's like you have people, every person needs a bed. Yeah. And then you have your list of stuff at the top and it's red until you do it. Yep. So I did everything already. Yeah, so as I'm talking thing. to him, it's just like you're done, you're done, yep. you're done. I did the same thing. It was I'm awesome. Like, I have to finish food. Yeah. But I just found a bunch more food because I went to that um the second thing that they send you on to go help that other random town. Oh, that little farm? Yeah. I, I picked all their crops. There's so a, I have a bunch of tomatoes. Another farm if you go southwest, and that's where I got most of my food and shit from, too. And also, it gives you the quest to go to the satellite array that I was at. Ah, cool. Um, and then, so if you do that and then follow just straight east, you'll find the other power armor and shit that I found. Yeah, now that... Uh, and, I like the, the quick... And there's a robot at this robot yard that if you get the hollow tape and pop it in your pit boy, you can control him and tell him where to go, and he can go to four different places. Is he a Mister Handy or no? He's he's a like this, this super military grade Mark something or other, and he just walks in and just blasts everything. Nice. So I sent him to that satellite array because he can go to four places. That satellite array is one of them, and he just wrecked everyone on the outside. So did you I do the, worry about the inside? Did but. you do the mission that that little farm village sends you on? I'm on my way there. So right. I'm I'm in Lexington now, and I, I was getting so I guess I'm on. further than you, but you've done more than me. Yeah, that's just how. Yeah, it's, yeah I just that's I just out. do random. So you shit. haven't done Diamond City or whatever. It's no, I haven't yet. gotten close to that. So that mission, the the mission that you're going to, yeah. Um, I think I died three times doing it. Yeah. Um, the one time because I, I turned a corner. Yeah. <laughs> and a horde of ghouls just yeah, yeah. fell from the sky. Yeah, I've been in there. Um, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. So. I, I managed to beat all of them, mm-hmm. but I guess I was just close enough to the band. And I, I was trying to like, I was trying to find my dog to heal my dog because he got messed don't heal up. Him. He doesn't die. Oh, really? Yeah. So you don't have to heal him at Companions all? Companions don't die. They'll just come back to life. I wish I would have known that because yep. I wasted like two stims packs on him. Don't ever do that. <laughs> and then I was trying to... In, in this version of Fallout only, previous other Bethesda games, your companions will die. Yeah, like your dog this would... This one, fuck them. They'll come in, back to life. In but, Fallout 3, your dog would die, but it wouldn't die. It would just go back to your home and you'd never be able to take him out again. But so, I was I was going to loot all the ghouls. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I just hear, you're dead, and fucking get blown up. Yep. That guy killed me twice. <laughs> what? So there's a dude. It took me forever. So you're in Lexington. I, I went through. Did you go to the Super Duper Mart? Yeah. Yeah. So I did the Super Duper Mart, and then that place was fun. And then outside the Super Duper Mart, there's just, you know, I'm on my way to my objective, uh, which is like a big power plant or whatever, I think. I'm not sure. It's like a manufacturing plant. Yeah. Yeah. And you get into this clearing, and then all of a sudden here, and I'm dead. And I'm like, what the f- just was, happened? Was it a mini nuke? Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, God damn it. So then I get back to the area again. And I'm like, okay, taking my time. And I'm like, I don't see anything. Where did this? Sp- <laughs> and I die again. I was like, shit. All right. We're going to tackle this from different angles. So I'm finding all kinds of different paths. And eventually, as I'm sure you found, it's it's a raider in raider power armor with a fat boy shooting mini nukes. Wow. I did not find him, actually. No? He's I on the roofs. <laughs> so be careful. So- when I went there, after I got killed there the first time and it spawned me back um, at the train yard, Yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm not going to go through that again because I was almost out of ammo from all the ghouls because yeah. they just kept coming. And then I got blown up. Yeah. So I, I pointed myself where I needed to be and I kind of went around to right. just that building. <laughs> um, and I slowly f- made my way to the front of the building and yeah. there's guys on top of it. There's, uh-huh. a, there's a, a dude in a, a, in a turret right there that you can yep. take out. Um, and I ended up, I took out the turret and I was trying to take out the guys on top. So that was the mission to take out the Raiders. Yeah. And I just, I couldn't hit any more of them cause they were so high up. So yeah. I just ran into the building and it, you know, it reloads cause it's like a spawn point. Yeah. Thing. Um, and the building was super easy inside. There, there was a, a lot of Raiders, yeah. but they were kind of coming one at a time. Yeah. And then there was, um, there was like five behind a pile of crap. So I just threw a grenade over it yeah. 
and killed them all. I keep forgetting I have grenades. But like, so I'm. This building is huge. Yeah. And I don't know if I would have went other ways if I w- would have ran into other guys. I found a but different entrance. I happened to just go a certain way up into the building into like this big factory setup. Yep. I killed like five guys up there. One of them was a bitch because he was on a platform I could not get to, mm. and he kept hiding in this room that I couldn't shoot him in. Yeah. But he could shoot down at me. Yeah. When I finally took him out, though, it just goes quest completed. Yep. I'm like, but. I know for a fact there's like six more guys outside. We have to clear the inside. It's usually at all. Yeah. Like- but so then I, I'm like, all right, cool. And they're pointing me towards the exit. So I go to the exit. It loads me to like this little hallway room with another door. Yeah. You open that door and it, it leads right outside where there's like six fucking raiders waiting for me. <laughs> and they just fucking wreck me because yep. that's what happens. Yeah. Luckily, that when it reloaded me in that room, mm-hmm. I just I fucking quick traveled back to the farm. Yeah. There you go. That'll work, too. Uh, I ended up finding a different entrance into that building is when I stopped is uh, there's like a broken sewer pipe uh, at the very base of it that I walked into. Okay. And I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to save here and pick back up later because I did so many other things. I explored the sewers underneath uh, uh, the first town. Um, oh, Concord. yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. After the death claw pops up, he opens an access way to the sewer. So I went in there. There's some, you know, nothing major. But there's stuff in there. Um, and I found some other, like, uh, junkyard that I explored. I found a graveyard that I explored. <laughs> I just go, because every little on your, on your um, uh, fucking compass, as you get close to things, a little, like, silhouette yeah. of a building or whatever shows up. And as you get closer, it gets brighter and brighter until it fills in. So I usually, and this is how I have been with Skyrim, Oblivion, and, and the previous fallouts, whenever something like that shows up, I can't resist it. Yeah, I'm like, I wonder what this is. So I just keep going. It's See, gotten me into trouble. And that's the thing. I get, because I, I'm not good at this combat at all, Yeah, um, I end up wasting ammo trying to kill things. Yeah. And then either get all my health depleted to the point where I have to just waste everything I have to heal myself up, yeah, or die. <laughs> well, you could every time you find meat, you're cooking it, right? Yeah. Okay, good because that stuff doesn't give you rads when you cook yeah. the meat, so that's good. I need to find somebody to sell shit to because I have way too much shit on me that um, I can't dismantle, so I need to sell it. Well, um, if you uh, this is what what I was doing was I keep going back to sanctuary, yeah. And then just putting all of my stuff there. Yeah, that's what I just did. But when you get, once you finish this quest, yeah. like the Kill the Raiders, and go back to the farm, there's a salesman there. Okay. He's like a traveling salesman. Yeah. But, um. I might have to do that. Yeah, because I, I talked to him. He didn't have anything with to buy, and I didn't really have anything to sell. Yeah. So I, I don't know what stuff actually ends up getting, like, salvaged for items and not. Because a, <clears throat> a few times I've made things, and it's like minus this item that was in your inventory. So yeah. like, okay, so even random shit I didn't scrap still gets used in... The one thing you want to be careful of, and this is what I read online, uh, is is um, dollars, pre-war dollars, pre-war money, counts as cloth. So you want to take that not out of just your inventory, but not on your companion either, and not in your junk box. You want to put it in some random container, because there's a guy who will buy it off you for caps. Like, really? a lot of caps. So... Um, Here's a cool set piece. As I'm exploring Lexington, um, just taking after, uh, you know, I killed the the big scary raider who's launching mini nukes at me. And now I have a mini nuke launcher on my dog. So it's kind of fun. I just gave him the shit to hold. He hasn't used my minigun and the mini nuke launcher. Wait, does, like, he actually fires this? No, he's just holding on to him. Oh. So you can have your companions hold stuff for you. Yeah, yeah, I have noticed okay. that. If you, you can also equip a bandana and goggles on the dog and he looks adorable. So do it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I just give him shit that's like too heavy for me to use and things that I'm not going to use often so like I'm not going to use a minigun all the time because it's you walk slower with it and yeah. it's huge and uh, so I just give it to him and same with the fat man I'm not going to use that so I give it to him um, I guess and does, does your companion not have the weight they have a weight limit the, uh, they don't have uh, they don't have the same weight limit as you yeah it's it's their own weight limit though yeah there was, so. there was a um Oh, was it Control Delete that they made fun of that? Yeah. They, they get back to the house, and it's the guy and the dog, and he's like, oh, you did a good thing, dog, puppy, and then picks it up and just starts shaking him, and the things just keep out. falling yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 weird, because I store so much dumb shit on the dog, but yeah, I have a lot. So I ended up putting all that in a container, so that way I can sell it when I get a salesman nearby. Uh, anyway, so I'm exploring Lexington, and I find an old bank. Like, all right, this is kind of neat. Let's go to this old bank. And there's a terminal on the wall. No security on this terminal at all. You can just open the vault 
to the fucking bank. In Lexington? In Lexington. And that's the first city you end up in, right? That's Concord is the first. Lexington's the second one where you work for the big factory. Oh, so, okay. Uh, so I open this vault, and inside this vault is some money on the ground, pre-war dollars, and a, a skeleton of a lady, because she's wearing a dress. The dress doesn't decompose, but everything else does. Yeah. <laughs> it's fallen forward and out of a window. Well, not a window, like a hole in the wall. I'm like, okay, there's a fucking hole in the wall, some money on the ground. You go and you look down, there's a ladder that fell, a car, and a guy standing next to the car, but dead as well. So, like, enclosed, but just, like, uh, reaching out forward, and a duffel bag. I'm like, these motherfuckers tried to rob this bank, and they died. When the bombs went off. Wow. And wow. I was like, that's fucking cool. In that bag, 100 pre-war money. And pre-war money is not a dollar. It's a stack of cash. So they had a lot of fucking money in there. And you get it, you get a trophy for it. Really? Nice. I was like, what? This is fucking awesome. See, so now, I want to go back there, but I don't want to fight the dude with the mini nuke. Just do it. It's all you get for that guy. Um, you kind of know like the clearing that he's in. Stay I mean, from where I went, if you go through the bank, you pop out that window and then just keep heading in that general direction, you'll see a path like uh, an open stairwell that you can just go all the way up. So as you le- – just because I've never played a Fallout before. Yeah. As you level up, do enemies level up too or is it kind of – or does the game just get harder as you get further away from where you start? So like, – how, um, how does that it's, progression it's – it's, I'm not sure. It's story-based. So like mm-hmm. enemies are what they are. And they they can be hard depending on your stats. Yeah. And I as you level up, there. things get a little easier. But going to certain areas or doing certain story missions, the enemies will be harder. So, like, it's weird because in Oblivion, everything's scaled with you. In Skyrim, nothing's scaled with you. And I don't think Fallout had anything scale with you. I think everything it, just is what it is. So, like, I could yeah. potentially, like, if I, if I just spent time actually, like, practicing and training and getting levels yep. taking like that guy on and all those ghouls yeah. that in the area won't yeah. be nearly as yeah. right and like, it's and- also like weaponry too like if you're running around with like a pistol or like that laser rifle just find a different weapon yeah, because i've got a bunch of weapons but none of them are very good i have like yeah the, um i have that laser rifle a shotgun and three different types of pistol yeah. Like, one of them's automatic, the other two aren't. Yeah, I would get rid of, like, and, I kept one handgun, and I, I'm working on that one myself, and then I have one rifle that I'm working on, and then the laser thing I'm just, I didn't like, so then I think my other gun's a shotgun. Um, but it's just, like, because I don't like the, the laser gun, you have to wind it up, and then shoot, really? and then wind it up, and then shoot, and I'm like, ew. Uh, that's weird. Yeah, because it's not great, and it winds up and uses two shots at once, but it's not very strong. Um, most guns aren't really that strong, especially this early though. Yeah. Yeah. But if you can find a, like, for whatever reason, I found this rifle, it's a pipe rifle. So it's like made out of cobbled together parts. It's kind of cool looking and it's got decent everything. It's, it's pretty good stats and all good range and everything, decent damage. And I just aim down sights and fire straight. And I don't get most ghouls are going to come right at you anyway. So isn't a big part of the game, the customizability of the weapons. Yep. So you can change. You could get that pipe rifle and then turn it into a sniper rifle, essentially. More kind of, yeah. But, um, but yeah, you can. So just the handgun itself, I have changed it to a hardened. So all of a sudden, it does more damage, but it has a higher kickback. So it's more yeah. of like a revolver than a handgun, and I can give it a longer barrel or a shorter barrel, a better stock, and uh, you know, yeah. more ammo. And it's really cool. It's like really in depth what you can do. Your equipment. I'm wearing my vault dweller suit. Yeah, right? and I have found just leather armor, like legs, chest, and arm pieces that I have um, modified and enhanced, and then equipped those over top of my vault dweller yeah. suit. So I'm not wearing like an armored vault dweller suit. I'm wearing a vault dweller suit and armor over top of it, and and then your power. I think you could armor. do that. Yeah. So look for like leather leg, leather arm, and leather chest. This is all new in this one. It wasn't yeah. before. Before yeah, it was I've like, got all like the raider stuff yeah i, I hate raider stuff because it looks dumb actually no maybe i have the leather stuff yeah I, I i basically went through all the crap i had and yeah. whatever had pluses and no minuses i equipped yeah yeah i mean i was wearing a drifter suit for a while because i found some dude who was just like <laughs> firing at bottles on a fence and he saw me and he tried to kill me man i'm gonna kill you first yeah. and i did and then i took his outfit which is a drifter yeah. suit and it had decent armor but the cool shit is like now i can find different levels of leather and metal armor i now have a metal arm so it's like a metal plate arm and shoulder and then leather on everything else 
and it looks really kind of cool over top of my vault suit. Yeah. And then I have an army helmet, so that needs to get fixed because yeah. that doesn't fit yeah. at all. But then power armor is a whole separate thing that you step into. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I've it's watched. I've watched cool. the videos. I saw one dude. He um, he killed. I, I'm assuming it's that first death claw too. Mm-hmm. He killed the death claw by punching it. You could, yeah. Because like, cause you're getting shot at by other enemies as well. Mm-hmm. So he was using the other enemies Why to hit it while. Other enemies? So in in that first spot, like when that happens, um, it's you're on top of a roof. There's a plane and power armor. You use your fusion core, hop in the power armor, and, and then in the plane jumps. has a minigun. You grab the minigun. Yeah. Now, some people might not equip the minigun at that point, but you probably should. Um, but then there's some raiders attacking you from the roofs. Yeah. So yeah. I stayed on top and shot them. Yeah, that's what Maybe I, yeah, that I took out. Didn't. I took out all the raiders that, on the roofs and on the, the yeah. ground. And then when you're finished that, the guy's like, oh, it looks like there's something else out there. And that's yeah. when I made my way into the street. Yeah. So, I mean, I could see the death claw like down the road. Yeah. But I'm like, well, I'm not going to go fuck with that until I have to. <laughs> he he breaks out of the sewers, the death claw is in yeah. the I'm like, what the so, fuck? So, yeah, the guy yeah. didn't grab the minigun. He jumped into the suit, jumped down, and then went right at it. And there was, pe- there was things shooting at him. The death claw pops out. Yeah. And he's like using his vats and just punching the hell out of this fucking death claw. By the That's time funny. I got to the death claw, my minigun was basically empty. Yeah. So I ended up having to fight the death claw with just the shotgun. It was my second minigun. So <laughs> I had, because I went to that other place and found a minigun. So I had like 1,500 ammo with the minigun yeah i had to re- i had to refill halfway through killing everything i was like this is crazy uh-huh. That's I, awesome. I can't really tell if i even like the game or if it just kind of aesthetically reminds me of bioshock eh. i mean it's post-apocalyptic and has the rust feeling so maybe that uh, too it's well it's it's more because this one has that 1950s yeah. vibe yeah that it just feels a lot like infinite yep i, I feel a game with like fallout you need to give it more time to decide whether or not you like. Well, yeah, not like, even that. It's more. I mean, you, you're, you're you, going to understand like following the story is not always the best path. Exploring, yeah, because that's Bethesda is, and I've said this a million times. They do open world the yeah. best because it's purely open. Like, you can go anywhere you want, anytime you want, and do whatever you want. When when you I can say even get killed, if you want. Because I did. I fought a rad scorpion. Don't fight a rad scorpion. <laughs> I, I try to fight anything because I can't fucking beat them. But see, yeah. you can. You can. You just have to know how. Just but believe. That's, yeah. Just believe. Just believe. No, it's just <laughs> different weapons are going to help yeah, I mean, in different I just, situations. I mean, right and... now, I, all anybody has are these sh- same shitty weapons. Like, I yeah. have 30 of the same pistol. Yeah. yeah. Because... Well, you can break all those down for oh, yeah. parts and then uh, use them all, use it to upgrade your other weapons. The thing that I've had, I have the most pr- trouble finding is adhesive. So whenever I go to modify my weapons, I don't have enough adhesive to yeah. increase them. It Does like duct tape is, count as adhesive? I think. I think it's duct tape. I find tape duct tape and, everywhere. So do I, but it's still never enough. <laughs> so I don't know. It's like Unless duct tape maybe, and glue. And, do you, you have know. to break down the duct tape to get no. the adhesive? No. So duct tape f- goes right to your junk, and junk is used to make stuff. Okay. Have you figured out how the power generator works? Well, um, Yeah. Oh, okay. So when you place the power generator, and then you place an object that needs power... You hover over one of them, and you push triangle to create a wire, and then you move the wire to the other thing. Okay. So I've done that, Yeah, and it won't fucking connect to it, hmm. and I don't understand... Is it too far? Does it have to be, like, right next to it? No. No, it can be a distance. So I but... did, um, at the front little bridge in Sanctuary, <laughs> I have two machine turrets that don't need power, I have a lighted thing that needs power... And then a guard post right behind it. And then I put the power generator behind a sign because I don't want raiders to be able to shoot it and kill it. I don't know if they can, but why yeah. not? Um, so from there, I built two posts, one to go around the sign and one next to pretty close to the lighted thing. And I drew wires to that. And that's all it was. So do you need like posts or something to go for the wires to... Maybe. I think the wires could just I just the I put a I put a generator right outside that main house where like the workbench and all is. Mm-hmm. And then I was just... Cause I keep getting the tooltip. Attach a wire to your powered things. I have no powered stuff yet. Right. So I'm just like, all right, well, let me just try this out. So I put, you know, like random electrical stuff down. Yeah. And I click on the thing and it says attach wire and I drag the wire over to it. Yeah. And as soon as I get to it, it turns red Hmm. and it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's something that doesn't need power or maybe it needs a switch first. I don't know because it it has the, um, when I hover over it, it has the attach wire option. Yeah. Maybe it depends. Maybe And it it shows that it needs, like... Because I, I know how to tell. It says right when you go into it in crafting. Yeah, it requires power. three power or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. So I don't. I didn't know if I was missing something or if you needed like a 
box. Yeah. Like a, you know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah, I built that lighted thing, and then I built four water purifiers in the in the water, and I forgot that I needed to run power to them. <laughs> so, oh, shit, the purifiers need power? Yeah. Well, that's good to know, because I, I built one. Yeah. And then I built a bunch of pumps. I built two pumps and then four of those things. I built four of the, the purifiers and then two pumps. And then I was like, shit, I can't use the purifiers, but the pumps were enough. So I was like, good, I'll just come back and do this later. Well, that's good to know. If I ever actually play the game again, I'll have to... Yeah, drop a power generator somewhere and run it. It's all four of those. I was like, damn it. It's disappointing. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. I, lo- I love how power armor works as like... In the previous games, it was your equipment. You equipped yeah. power armor, and that was it. You were then in power armor. It wasn't like this Iron Man thing to step into. But then it still has is, like each part to it, which is kind of weird. Well, because then you can alter and change your different parts, because there's different models of power armor that do different things. Yeah. Oh, okay. I found Hot Rod Red paint for my power armor. And if you paint the entire thing Hot Rod Red, and it's like Hot Rod Flames Red, you paint the whole like flames on my power armor. I paint the whole thing, all five par- or was it five parts, six parts, two legs, two arms, chest, and helmet. If all of it's painted, your agility goes up when you're wearing it. Really? really? Yeah. That's funny. I don't have a power armor with the left leg yet, so I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it. But it is. It is all red and hot rod flames on my power armor, but my leg is exposed because I don't have a power armor <laughs> left leg. <laughs> like, God damn it. So did you see the, the weird like cheats and stuff people are already finding out? Uh, Like what? Um, I know that there's the bottle caps unlimited shit, which I'm not going to do. Well, there's yeah, there's the bottle caps, so you can buy stuff where you like you, yeah, you buy care. one thing from a guy and then you sell it back, but don't yeah, something weird uh, like it's that. Weird, I don't know. Um, but there's one if you go into your actual house uh-huh. into the baby's room. Yep. There's the book that explains special. Yep. On the floor. Yeah. So if you pick that up and then drop it. Yeah. And then tell the dog to pick it up. Yeah. But right before the dog gets it, you pick it up. Oh, God. No, too much. You get to... Because every time... When you pick it up the first time, you get a point. Yeah. So you drop it. You have the dog pick it up. You pick it up before him. You get another point. Well, there's seven of those books in the game anyway. So you don't but really have to do that. But it's yeah. just if if you're... I don't know. A, a loser? Yeah. <laughs> if you really want it to, you could sit there and just... Max out your special right in the beginning? Yeah. That's too much. Um... So just a heads up when you do if you do play again, don't increase any stat above eight naturally of, of your special. Because you can find bobbleheads that increase your special by one and special books, there's seven of them to increase the rest of your special by one. So So at the beginning of the game only put it up to eight. Right. Maximum and even when you level up yourself, don't go over eight unless you've already found those. So I already found both perception book. Uh, I the perception bobblehead, and I used a special, the special book under the baby's bed to turn my special to do perception again. So now the rest of my points for perception, I think I'm at six. I'll put four more points into it to max it out because I already found the other two points. So there's you can find seven special books, but you get to choose, and then seven bobbleheads that each do a specific special. Okay. Oh, so this way if you find all of them, mm-hmm. you're not wasting two points that you didn't need to right. waste. Because ten is technically, while you can go over ten, there's no benefit to it. Um, and then while leveling, you can just fill out the um, yeah the subcategories. Right. Um, I, I'm kind. I'm alternating, so it's like even levels is special. Odd levels is uh, a perk. So this way, I have a. Eventually, I'll no, get everything. I I did notice some of like the the jitteriness and and yeah. frame droppage yeah. just on the PS4 version. Yeah. Which funnily enough, apparently the P- if your PC can handle it, that doesn't happen on PC. Yeah. It's like an Xbox PS4. It, it makes sense. It wasn't me. it like it didn't make the game no. break or anything like that, but it was a definite Yeah. I normally don't see that that I don't normally pay attention to it that much if I'm playing like a console game. Right. But it happened in that factory thing and it was like, "Oh." Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I had a little bit uh, not too much, but usually like uh, I think it was like the opening um like as I first emerged from the vault uh in, in the beginning. Yeah. It kind of like jittered a bit and then for the most part it's been okay. Uh, but yeah, it's it's frame rate issues or it's the, they're par for the course. I don't really care. Yeah, they, they weren't. Um, they haven't had enough any, to make the game not playable. Yeah, I haven't had any glitches that you know <laughs> there was. I killed uh, at the train yard. I killed a bunch of ghouls, and then there was a piece of meat that was just spinning on the ground. <laughs> and you yeah, could always floating could you? a few. Times. You could. You can go over and you hold X to lift things up, and then it just starts spinning still in the in the air. So then I like tried to toss it. You can't toss things, but I like right sticked right and then 
left and then X and it just like kind of fell and then starts rolling and chasing after the dog for whatever <laughs> reason. And it was just random fucking piece of meat that won't stop rolling. And I was like, well, that's going to happen forever. So yeah, it's... probably go back there and it'd still be there. Yeah. Cause I... at, corpses don't disappear, which is really cool. Okay. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, the, the building the town thing was something I thought I was going to hate. It's interesting. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know that I'm going to spend a lot of time with it, but I, I think it's interesting. Yeah, it's one of those things where I, I kind of want to do it, but I don't at the same time. I just want to do it because if I, I want a place that I know is going to have shit for me to buy and sell at. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I like the idea that I if I get like a higher leadership level yeah, or whatever. I think it's one of the um, charisma perks. You can uh, you can start buying like shops yeah. and all that fun stuff. Yeah. It's kind of the, the middle ground that I'm not... St- it's really cool that you can do it, yeah. but I don't know if I care enough to want to micromanage right. a community. Yeah, exactly. I'm kind of in that same point. Like, like have it, having to get new people to come out there and make sure to bring new food options because yeah. the more people, the more food and water they're going. Yeah. Like that's what. Eventually you can make a, a Brahmin farm so that way they can uh, have a Brahmin as a two headed cow so <laughs> they can, uh, you know, slaughter oh, the two headed cow. The first time I fucking stuff. ran into those things. Yep. I didn't know if they were good or not, like mm-hmm. if they were um, aggressive. Yeah. So I see a whole fucking herd of them, and I'm just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I found two-headed deer that I shot at, and they ran fast as shit. They were gone. I was like, all right. Well, I didn't shoot them or anything, because again, there was a whole herd of them, and I didn't know if I shot, if they were going to charge. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm just, they seem passive, yeah. so I'm just going to walk around. They're just cows. They're not I do don't really like that. Uh, I'm so used to this in games now. I mm-hmm. don't like that you actually have health. That doesn't regenerate. <laughs> Oh yeah, because it doesn't. That doesn't regenerate. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah I, it's a little. But I'm, there's there's probably a perk that like you get enough rads and it'll just start regenerating. Probably, and, honestly, you're probably right. I think there was always something yeah. like that. It's it's a little because when you're ratted, then it takes away from your health. Yeah, uh, which is wild. And then you know, so you want to eat foods that aren't rads. But then you have all your like pre box pre war shit that it's like all right, well I'll eat this can fucking meat or these deviled eggs and but then you also run into stuff where it seems if you start getting attacked yep especially by ghouls, ghouls you get radiate rats. you yep so i don't think mole rats do or anything i'm pretty sure it's uh, like rad roaches rad scorpions and yeah ghouls anything will. with rad in yeah. them hits you yeah but it it's cool that because you because you can do so many items on your d-pad is yeah. cool but because of that the selection it just isn't I, I don't like the selection as much. Just do circle because it pauses the game, and then you can go heal yourself in there. You can a- okay. I didn't know that you could yeah. actually use those items. Yep. I thought you just had to assign it, and then yeah. Now you go circle, and then you can go to aid. Or it's, if you're on the basic stat screen, yeah. Rad, rad away, and uh, stim packs. Stim packs are right up there. Oh, okay. To, like you push square and, and X to use them, or square and triangle. Like it gives you buttons to push to use those two specifically, and you can go to inventory aid and just use any of your food. I had a situation. I was getting attacked by um, the the crabs. I forget what they're called. <laughs> Mirelurks, I think. And they suck the most um, because they're hard shells on their back. You can't shoot through it. You can only really hurt them from the front. And when, as soon as you hit them, they like cower down. So you can't. They suck so bad. And I had <laughs> two of them coming at me. And all I had was this shitty fucking pistol. And there was no way I was going to be able to kill them. Somehow I managed to do it. But I had to keep pausing and activating healing shit as soon as I took too much damage because I, I had to make sure I was doing it then. You won't you heal in real time, though. So as soon as you hit unpause then it starts to heal you yeah but it's just one of those i'm so used to games where if i'm getting blasted yeah i can run run and hide yeah run yeah. hide just create some distance yep. and it'll regenerate yep that whole getting just bombarded by shit and then having to remember where i assigned stim packs to and food and everything yeah but that's cool i didn't i i knew it paused the game when you hit hit circle yep i did not realize that you could actually use that stuff from the menu. I thought you could yeah. only equip it. So it's the only downside then is like my big weapons I have on the dog. So it's not super useful for me to like because you can change your gear and everything too. So I could always hit circle and then equip the mini gun and then just which blast is definitely an but... easier way to equip a weapon than yeah because it's it's I've a couple times just because you have to hit the direction over to wherever you need it and if it's not on the first one you have to hit it multiple times yeah and then hit x to change the weapon yep i went to do that the one time totally forgot to hit fucking x yep and it was with a shotgun that was already empty yeah so i was trying to switch to another weapon yeah. and just got wrecked yeah the other option would be then is also you can sync your phone app to it too 
So you have the Pip Boy app, and then yeah. as you're like walking through a dungeon, it's real quick, like swipe over and equip. And I, and I thought about installing it on my on my tablet. Yeah, because uh, I want to say it was Giant Bomb. I watched their quick look of it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, it was Giant Bomb because Jeff said something about he had been putting his uh, his tablet in front of his screen. Yeah. So it was just kind of underneath on the side with the map open <laughs> right. so that he always had the map visible. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, I, I like the app. I think it's useful, but I haven't. Um, you know, a friend was like, yeah, it's, it's really cool playing playing it with uh, the Pip-Boy uh, wrist thing, too. And I was like, yeah, you can go fuck yourself because I wasn't able to get one, so I hate you. Um, brag to me about that. I don't know, but asshole. think about it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that thing's about the size of a phone, right? Yeah, it does it. Isn't it just it, for a you phone? Put your you phone, put your yeah. phone into it. Yeah. So you can use your tablet instead, which is much larger. Yeah. And have a better view of everything. Yeah. I mean, it's just it. it it's neat. I have it on my phone, and I, I've. It's just. It's not like the tablet would be good because I have the little kickstand and everything for it, so we can just sit there next to me, and I can play and reach over and neat, you know. But even still, like in the heat of the moment, circle to pause and equip is a lot yeah. better than having it. No, on yeah, that's good to know because I didn't realize that that would actually. Yep. Tips for Fallout. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those, I might grab it used or something like that. Once yeah. there's, so I was looking for a used copy, and like the closest place I could find was like Centerton Square. Yeah, I'm sure there's which, more by now. No, but... I even looked this morning to see what. Um, there there are a ton of stores that claim to have them. Yeah, but just none of them. None of the ones that are close by to us. And it's like yeah. I don't want to drive half hour, forty five minutes for this game. It's true. Not not you. not when a used copy is only going to be fifty bucks anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, they sold twelve million copies. Day one. Apparently, yes. apparently, according to the internet, um, Fallout 4 has diminished the views on Pornhub. It did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Pornhub views went down in the hours leading up to Fallout 4's release and stayed down for about five hours afterwards, and then they went back up. So, so Somebody did a video comparing like travel distance, how long it takes to get from corner to corner of the map. Yeah. And for just um, reference, they use like... In FIFA 15, it takes 35 seconds to get from side to side of yeah. the, the stadium. Just Cause 2, it's five hours to get from corner to corner just walking. Yeah. It's 41 minutes Okay, from corner to corner in Fallout 4. Five hours but in Just Cause? Five hours. And that's the yeah. surface map. Yeah. So Just Cause is a huge surface map, yeah. but there's not no real underground. Right, okay. Fallout 4... Is yeah. a forty-one minute walk across yeah. just on the surface. Yeah, who knows all it's, the extra stuff? It's hidden. about the same as Skyrim. Then Skyrim was. Um, let's see, I had it in here. Skyrim was two hours and ten minutes. Really, to walk across oh. from. I, I, I was, yeah, I guess I horsed across in like a half hour. So yeah, so they they perfect. walked. Yeah. So I will say, just because I've never actually played one of these Bethesda games. Yeah. Um, it is really cool just how how open open. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Like y- you can like, do any because. I mean, like we were saying before, like when it comes to like scavenging and stuff, you mm-hmm. can check almost everything and just scrap anything that's left over. Yeah, as yeah. long as you're in like a safe zone. Yeah. Uh, like you guys, you've heard me complain and bitch about open world. When I say that, I mean everything except the fest. You mean Ubisoft? Ubisoft well, is the shitty open yeah. world. It's and like I'm Grand about- Theft Auto is. Pre- Pretty close to Ubisoft at this point. Yeah. And I'm Bethesda's like, the only one who gets it right. I'll do a Bethesda open world any day. They do it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Like, I know what I'm getting into when I buy a Bethesda game. But when I buy an Assassin's Creed and they change it up that much. Yeah. Or when I buy Batman Arkham and they change it up yeah. that much. I'm like, this is yeah. not... For me, it, it usually comes down to the to the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't necessarily want a game that I... Ha- that is going to suck me in for a hundred hours. Yeah, sure you do. Cause I feel like I'm not going to accomplish anything in that game. Oh, you will. It's just going to take you a hundred. That, well, that's what I mean. I, I very much like the payoff. Yeah. And you know, eight to 20 hour games are great because you get that payoff. Yeah. A <laughs> hundred hour game. It's like, Oh, yeah. But, but, I mean, you could mainline yeah, Fallout yeah. in 8 to 20 but hours, you know. But most of the most of my playtime so far, yeah. other than the first day I played it, I was working. Yeah. Like, so I was actually streaming to Twitch the whole time, mm-hmm. and it's like a two and a half hour video. It's paused most of the time. Well, it's your fault for working. Yeah. Yeah. It was the only time I had to play it. Yeah. Um, and I didn't expect to get the amount of calls I got while yeah. I was doing it. Um, but when I actually played again, I spent two, three hours in the sanctuary yeah just 
walking around, looking in everything. Well, seeing... see, that was too much time. I ran through that shit in like an hour, <laughs> and I was like, I'll come back another time. Well, see, I, I, the next thing I had to do, I wasn't too excited for, and yeah. I thought this was, I thought that was just a neat mechanic, and because I started wandering around outside of that to see what I could like find because yeah. I needed more food, so I'm like looking for. Yeah. I had found like some melons, I think it was. Yeah. While I was going to that first town, yeah. So I'm like, well, let me go see if I can find more fruits and vegetables I can plant because it yep. shows me all these ones in my inventory. I just need them. Yeah. So it was a lot of just wandering in that general vicinity, looking mm-hmm. for things. And yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. But that's the best part about the Bethesda games is it's open to you. You turn it on and you decide what you want to do. And doesn't stuff just stay there too? Like if mm-hmm. you drop something on the ground, it's just there. Unless yeah. unless somebody comes and takes it. Yeah. But for the most part, they generally don't. But yeah. But yeah, like if I go into like a random house mm-hmm. and put my gun on the floor there yep. and then 30 hours later go back to that random house, mm-hmm. the gun's still there. Yep. Yeah. Like that's just – that's really cool. Yeah. It's like all the corpses are still there and everything. If you haven't looted something, it's still there. Yeah. It's nice that they um they let you save whenever too. Yeah. And it doesn't bump you back to like a random like safe point before that. Yep. It, a couple times I've been told I can't save, like it's just grayed out. Yeah, there might be something in the background yeah. going on, but yeah. So it's like, okay, cool, so I can't save right now, but yeah. five seconds later I was able to, and mm-hmm. I was just there. Yeah, uh, I recommend it. Um, I'll probably have more to say about it in the coming weeks, because it's really all I'm going to be playing for a while. Yeah, yeah. I looked at Drew, because he had, he had streamed yesterday. Yeah. So I, I went to his Twitch page and looked at it, and it was like seven hours and 40 minutes from yesterday. Yeah. He Jesus was on Christ. all day. Like, I, 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 when I started playing, he was already playing, and when I stopped, he was still playing. God damn. So, um, yeah. I mean, and I played like, from, like, one thirty until... I'm, I'm... Until I'm, about 4.30... Um, and I, I only stopped because Alja was on her way home and I needed to, I was getting hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm down for like gaming marathons, but an eight, nine hour gaming marathon is too much for me anymore. Not for me. I could do it. Like, I was just sitting on my ass for that long. Oh yeah. I get antsy, like, but that's he, why like I make sure to do stuff ahead of time. <laughs> I mean, he probably moved around a bit or something yeah. too. Well, yeah. I'm like sure he walked around. At, the, I'm but sure. if I'm going to Twitch, I'm not going to Twitch for seven hours and pause the game and walk away. Like, Why not? That's what I would do. I, like, I hated when I was playing Bloodborne. I hated like checking on my phone real quick while n- just nothing was going on the screen. Mm, people get it. It's fine. I'm like, man, I don't the like only, it. The only, thing I, the only pain in the ass about it is if you try to export it to YouTube, it doesn't give you the option to edit the video at all. You can go in and do, like, your highlight thing in Twitch, yeah. but there's no, like, editor where you can cut things out mm-hmm. of it. So if you export it to YouTube, it just exports everything, including yeah. all your just sitting there doing nothing. And yeah. on YouTube, it lets you edit things, though, I think. I don't know. I think it let me edit, like, cut down videos and things like that. And it might, I know it gives you the op- I know Twitch tells you right away if your if you, if your YouTube ca- account isn't verified, you can only do ten minute videos. Yeah, but verifying is just as easy as going to a page and, and clicking, clicking verify, verify my yeah. account. Okay, yeah, it's silly. I forgot to upload all my old videos to YouTube, so they're all gone now. Oh no! Did you, do you have um? I have it archived, but I don't know how long the archive lasts for. Not that long. I think it's a month or something it, like uh, that. Okay, then I might just still have it. sync your Twitch account to uh, the OneQuest YouTube and just export it to there. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's Fallout, and that's pretty much all I did. And uh, news is dumb. So, but there was news. What? What? It's too quick. I gotta go. Nintendo <laughs> Direct. Like that's the only thing I saw. Oh well, yeah. So Zelda's coming next year. Yay! Star Fox is coming in well, April. Twilight Princess HD is next year. Both Zeldas are next. They're year. both next year. Did they announce that in there? It said 2016. I mean, oh, it's been. I missed yeah. that. It was. It was Zelda. The new Zelda is next year. Twilight Princess is summer of next year. Um, both 2016. Uh, Star Fox is April 2016, and the fall. The the fucking um, Fire Emblem bullshit. Of bullshit is coming. <laughs> Nobody fuck that shit, man. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, they, f- they did that it. once before. They had two different Fire Emblems, didn't when? they? No. Fuck it's they Pokemon mean. that does the twos. Yeah. And even then, I hate that shit. It's yeah. stupid. But at least with Pokemon, like other than like the whole you can't catch them all in one version. Right. I mean, it's you, fine. you get the whole story. It, it's Yeah. But no, this bullshit, I have to spend $80 just to be able to get both the, the full side of the story just because they know they can capitalize on it. Twilight Princess is March 4th. Yeah. So, so that's actually soon-ish. Yeah. That was underrated, I feel, too. I like Twilight Princess, and Alja never played it. You always hear people say that they liked it, but not a lot of people actually played it. Yeah. 
I, I'm hoping Skyward gets an HD. That's all I'm at at this point. I'll actually, I'll probably get the Twilight Princess HD because I, I only had it on Wii and playing it with those controls sucked. Yeah, I got through that, it. I beat it. That, so, it was yeah. pre Wii Motion Plus or whatever, so it was just very. I mean, even with yeah. plus, the, it's like lot, they didn't but. have assigned attacks. It was just like shake, and he would attack. Yeah, like it just yeah. it wasn't fun doing that. Yeah, so it wasn't. But I, I did beat it on on Wii. Um, it was a good game. Then they announced Cloud and a Midgar level for oh, yeah. Smash yeah. Brothers. Cloud did you guys Smash see Bros. the video? His entry video? No, I don't care. It, it was awesome. I'll watch it later. He gets his his super smash is Omni Slash. Yeah, one of his abilities is Cross Slash. He can summon things. He can I, summon well, I guess things. if you're at the Midgar level, the summons are just there wrecking havoc. Oh, that's fun. No, I think it is. Oh, uh, maybe it, it is. A Mid- no, yeah, it is. Maybe Midgar it's level. weapons in the background wreaking havoc. That would be cool because you are I, a Midgar. So. No, I think it was just. So maybe Whatever. weapons as well. I don't know. I know Bahamut yeah. Zero was in it at one point. Um, yeah, it was it was an awesome yeah. video. The other big news: Dragon Quest Seven VII and Eight are coming to US 3DSs next year. Dragon Quest Seven is summertime, and Eight sometime. And that, those are <laughs> so, like the two things that you wanted them to bring out here that they haven't I, announced, right? I want Eight so bad. Uh, seven I've never played, but I've heard it's amazing. But I want Eight so bad because it was one of the best games I've ever played. So they also uh, they announced that they're releasing the original three Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Oh, on the virtual thing. on no, the, the virtual. 3DS virtual console yeah, yeah. in February for the 20th anniversary. That's cool, I guess. You you get to use the the Wi-Fi to battle and trade instead of having to link up with a friend. <laughs> All right, that's that's useful. <laughs> but I mean, it's cool. It's the 20th anniversary, so it's kind of right. cool. I'll tell you, it's cool in that I don't have to, you know worry about catching six billion pokemon this time i it's can just go back to the 150 again 150 so. i'm Maybe. curious if it's going to be just a str- like i think i guess it's going to be a straight port so the bottom screen's not going to do anything it'll yeah. just be maybe i think that's the videos i've seen and then the only other thing i that i took note of was they uh they're making a, a, a website for mario maker to browse oh, yeah. levels instead of just incorporating it into the actual yeah. game this way you can find and favorite and pull them up on your console later okay. on to make it easier to because there's no, there's no really there's not a search feature right this now. way if you're like bored at work and you're just scrolling through yep. this website oh yeah that episode that level looks fun it's like, cool it's just not part of the game itself so mm-hmm. if you're just playing the game there's not like a good way to find stuff mm-hmm. yeah yeah I, I got i got a silly thing what Google self-driving car got pulled over for driving too slowly. Hmm. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, I thought it was silly. I hope all cars are self-driving within the next five years because I'm tired of driving. Uh, <laughs> prob- I mean, I wonder how traffic would be if every car was self-driving. It would be amazing. You know why? A light would turn green and all of the cars would start moving at the same time. Yeah. We wouldn't have to snake forward for 12 minutes before I get to go through the friggin' light. Yeah. We'd all just start moving the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be amazing if every car were self-driving. It probably won't happen because people and their freedom and... and it took a freedom and... America. America. Bullshit. Who cares? Um, yeah. Well, I've always said when they get flying cars, I'm going to be the only one left with, a, with an analog car because oh, there's going to be traffic in the flight. Because there's only going to be certain flight paths where there's not going to be traffic on roads. You assume that they'll still allow analog cars if that ever happens. Yeah, you never know. I mean, for the first couple of years, like when it, they first start exploding. Well, if they ex- start exploding, I'm not going to buy them. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. I uh, no, you. it's going to be one of those things. It's, it's, there's going to be a lot of factors to I, it. Let's, yeah. let's be realistic. If we ever get to the point in our lifetime where flying cars exist... Mm-hmm. It's going to be after cars drive themselves. Mm-hmm. At yeah. which point, they are not going to let people control a car in the air. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, even though you figure like an airplane is going to be much further than a car could ever be, you still run that. I mean, the, realistically, the I'm trying to think of the best way to put this: a flying car in a city is more be dangerous a, than a driving car in a city. Yeah. Especially yeah. if people can control them, because yeah. then who's this, Stop yeah. somebody from running into a building because they're not yeah. paying attention. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It's going to be so many texters like, oh, my God. Yeah. And they just drive fly. right into no, it. No text flying. Fly yeah. texting. F- flexting. No click flexing. It. <laughs> click it or ticket in the air. <laughs> what? Or click it or ticket in the air. Yeah. You never know when you have to hit your eject button. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. We had that one email. Yeah, so David sent us an email, um, yeah. and I, I can give it to you basically without reading it. Um, he has two things. He's, he's, he's busy playing Fallout, like everyone should be. Um, 
So if you want to know our favorite moments from Fallout, and and considering it's just me and Cobb who actually played it, well, I mean, we kind of went over those already. I anyway. could say favorite moments from past Fallout. No, but it's not the same. I, it's it's still kind of the same. It's not the same. But he, he's speaking about Fallout Four. Yeah, I can't think of one right now. Right. So there you go. It's going to take me a while. Um, but we kind of went over that already during our, our nice, lengthy discussion of Fallout. I think my favorite, though, was was finding the people trying to rob that bank. Yeah, that is actually pretty it's, cool. It's so neat. Like, that's the best part of these games is, like, there's so many little stories to, that can be told just in the scenery alone, you know? So mm-hmm. that's, that's just really cool. I mean, I didn't even realize that um, some of the houses in sanctuary have halloween decorations up yeah because it was right around halloween when the really? bombs dropped halloween yeah. decorations they have like the plastic pumpkins you can pick yep. up is october 22nd i believe is when the oh, bombs wow. fell so it's it's getting close to halloween so a lot of the places have halloween decorations up which i thought was really fun. it's a cool touch re- that they've never had before so and they have it now like they're they're recognizing like oh shit it's close to halloween there'd be people with decorations up yeah so i really like cogsworth cogsworth is awesome he can call you fuckface. <laughs> we went over all the names he could say yeah. last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen them. the two the two lists of them. Yeah. And there's like really common names that just aren't in there. Yeah. And then some spelling differences. Like he can say Damien with an A, but not an E or vice versa. Yeah. I think it's silly that we, we all thought it was silly that he can't say Drew, like short for Andrew. Like I thought that that would be in there pretty like, you know, like why not? I don't even think Andrew was in there. No, so. I don't think so. It's, it's, it's like he, he can't say Drew, but he can say fuckface or yeah. sexy or boobies. Or fuck, fucker, and fuckface. Fuck, fucker, and fuckface. Katniss yeah. and Everdeen. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you that You can one. name your character Katniss Everdeen and he would switch between He would the say two. one of them. He would say probably say Katniss because he can recognize the first one. Yeah. But you could call yourself Prim Everdeen and he would call you Miss Everdeen. Yeah. <laughs> it should be awesome. Or like... He calls me Mr. Eric. And I'm like, yes, this yeah, is my, so good. Mine says Mr. Chris. Mr. Cobb's in there. You could have been Mr. Cobb. Oh, really? Yeah. Mr. You could have Would it have recognized Cobb. it with two Bs, though? Yeah. Oh, it's wow. C-O-B-B. Two Bs is what he recognizes. Mr. Cobb. It would have been so good. Walnuts wasn't in there. No. But yeah, Codsworth's fucking awesome. I, I There's I can, other Mr. Handys around, too. Yeah. With really fucking awesome names. I haven't seen any others. Um, so. It was just that, that quick look I saw on Giant Bomb. I forget oh. what the name was. No spoilers, but then. Leave it out. It was one of those. He Jeff turned around, and there was the thing there, and he vatted onto it so that it would like zoom in on him. Yeah. And saw the name. He's like, well, I'm not going to fuck with him, because that name is too cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I found like a floating eye robot that I killed once, too. Oh, did but. you guys watch the Conan thing? Yeah, I did. It was dumb. He hated the role, everything except for the combat. Well, all he cares about in any video games is getting with the chicks. Yeah. So he hates pretty much everything about video games. Yeah. But yeah, it was kind of funny. When um, he was he was talking him through the hacking into the system. And he was just like, just like, I don't even just What stop. the fuck is this? Um, I like hacking. That's fun. Yeah. But the, the the only like criticism I have for it is is if you're familiar with 3 and 4, it's like Far Cry nothing's changed you mm-hmm. know it's all the same save for like how power armor works with that addition i think it's really fucking cool though but hacking works the same um lock picking is skyrim lock picks so it's awesome it's it's you know you twist the left to find the spot twist the right until it works you know mm-hmm. perfect best lock picking and, and it's real the- simple because you can tell really easily if you're yep it's it's easy not to break um, a bobby pin. Yep, it's the best lock picking mechanic in video games, um, and everybody should do it. And I'm really glad they brought it back. But yeah, um, that's that. So other than that, David asked uh, if we believe in the EA curse, uh, because as of last night, um, and, and we'll just try to make this one quick. But as of last night, uh, Ronda Rousey lost her first match ever um, after two, being two days announced after for the being cover. announced. To be uh, the cover art for UFC 2, EA's UFC 2. Yeah. Two days afterwards, she loses her first fight ever. Is the EA curse well, real? It was always just the Madden curse. It was. Because I don't the think Madden other curse. EA titles have really had a lot of plight, like true athletes getting injured or right. um, generally. So I, I was reading. Like, See, we don't follow soccer, so we don't know if it's <laughs> true or not. But, I mean, there's still there's hockey. Um, 
I don't follow hockey. Yeah, like I've never uh, really baseball. followed. Like, th- there's the all sports. all their sports have a person yeah. on the cover, yeah. but Madden's the one because f- up until ninety nine, I want to say, yep. up until ninety nine, it was always just John Madden on the cover. Yeah, and then in ninety nine, they started putting players on the cover. Yeah. yeah. And I know, like, I, I was looking through it a little bit um, right as we got started. And a lot of it, you know, there was people that got, that got injured and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but a lot of it was just they, they had a really good year the year before, and then they had a not-so-great year that following year. Who was right. on Madden? Well, that's the idea. Is like once you have a really good year, you make the cover, you have a really bad, you have a bad year. I you think know? that's almost more fluke than anything. Yeah, I mean, it could just be coincidental or, you know, mostly probably just coincidental because look, it's it's like, you know, the Phillies, they win in 2008 and then they've been shit ever since. Hey, they it's, made it back again in 2009. Right. So like, I mean, you do good. So like, at least in that instance, if they were on the cover of MLB uh, 2009, then, then, we could still chalk it up to that, but they weren't. So, but like for this, yeah. like like for the, like the Ronda Rousey thing, she she was undefeated. Yep, her opponent was undefeated. Yeah, one of them had to one lose. of them was leaving. One defeated. of them had to lose. Yeah, well, unless they both just said nope and bowed out. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I just think I. I mean, uh, who knows? Is I mean, the did this real? fight at least last longer than thirty seconds, like that last one did? I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know. I didn't. Any videos I it. saw was the videos of her losing. Yes, yeah, like and the not videos last, of the fight. So. It's like the last fifteen. I, seconds. I didn't see how whether many or, not, or anything. Whether or not that's also the first fifteen <laughs> seconds, we don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, is the EA curse real? Probably not. But is this just a hilarious? It's ironic that it happened. Yeah, I just I think it's pretty good. Um, it's one of those things. The EA curse is just one of those things that I've always I've always liked. I think always this it was might silly. be the first year that the EA curse didn't affect a football player yet. Maybe. Yet. I mean, it's, a, it's also part. like the EA uh, or the the Super Bowl challenge where they have the two teams. Super Bowl on like auto on the highest settings, yeah, and they determine the winner, and they've been consistently determining the winner of the Super Bowl for the last like ten years straight. Yeah. So it's one of those. In- it's interesting, um, you know that that this tends to happen with EA. Their shit's pretty accurate, but um, the curse is. I think it's funny. Who knows? Maybe it is a curse. Yeah, Odell Beckham, who was on Madden this year, has not been injured, but um, not all of them were injured. Not like they had, yet. they had one person who I forget. Which player it was? It was one of the early covers. Great year the year before. Yeah, got the team all the way to the playoffs, and then like broke their ankles first game of the playoffs. Yeah, and was out for a full two years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, it's Odell Beckham who was this year, and so far he's he's had a great season, uh, fantasy wise at least. Well, um, I'm sure there's time before he dies or breaks a leg. Yeah, I mean there's there's still seven games in the season. <laughs> yeah, so Six, there's seven time. games in the season. So who yeah. knows? Yeah, um, that's that's like funny to think about that mm-hmm. whole curse thing. Yeah, I mean, look, I still love Ronda Rousey even though she lost, and this is gonna be a whole Rocky comeback story where she's gonna go train with somebody she fought used to fight with. No, I'm pretty sure yeah. that doesn't really happen in real life. No, and she's gonna rechallenge her, and no. she's gonna win. She'll rechallenge her, sure, but no. Yeah, no, no. And then it'll be one and happen. one, and then they'll have a third to. End it all up. Like rock, paper, scissors, best out of three. Yeah. See what happens. Best two out of three. Yeah. Well, well and I'm pretty sure she has so much money that one loss isn't really going to bother her no, that much. No, they're like, uh, all of her sponsors look, dropped her immediately. So, <laughs> uh, look, look, her her loss, it wasn't just like, she didn't just get, it wasn't a bitch size. She got knocked yeah. that, in like, the head. She's and still the- easily one of the most popular and recognizable UFC fighters ever. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Like I don't not, know anything about this other person. Yeah, <laughs> she's not going anywhere. She's going to keep making millions of dollars off of endorsements and shit. Yeah, she's in movies and crap now. So yeah. now, now she has that sad story of she got her first loss and she has to redeem herself. It'll be an HBO special. It will. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll, the, it'll be a thirty for thirty, but it'll be yeah. uh, like it'll be similar to a thirty for thirty. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's gonna be like a twelve twelve episode like chron yeah chronicling her uh yeah they, her, they her don't come have back. they <laughs> don't have sonic highways so they need something so it'll be the ronda rousey comeback yeah. oh, story sh- did you guys hear that the foo fighters canceled their tour no did their they? european leg of their tour after the uh oh, the yeah. makes stuff sense, in but france yeah, no, yeah a lot of the, i hear a lot of people are canceling tours right now well, just to, it's just like, a shame because like i'm sure like people over in europe could use something yeah. yeah, positive to look forward to. I understand why they're doing it because they don't want another attack to happen, and a lot of it happened at a concert. So yeah, but yeah. it's, it's yeah. one of those like people need something yeah good to look forward to. Well, you know, I'm sure Bono will head out there and do something fun because I say people need something good to look forward to. Well, look, <laughs> I didn't say look. 
look, I'm sure. Well, Bardo <laughs> going out there, him and being hurt. from over there, they might look forward to that. I'm not saying we would. No, no, but... he's from Ireland. Nobody likes him. It's close <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's Just close think about this out. The children, David. Thanks for the question. Um, I hope you're enjoying Fallout and uh, answer our question. Yeah, please answer my question from earlier. Do you guys have a similar? Uh, 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 holiday to thanksgiving basically we just we wake up in the morning um and we wait until late afternoon and we just stuff our faces to no end that's that's thanksgiving it's amazing do you guys have something like that um because i'd be curious to know and black friday and black friday black friday is the day after thanksgiving it's the start of the american holiday shopping season um uh, technically unofficially the start but it's it's what all the Place Thanks, refer to Thanksgiving for us is a third Thursday in November. So do you yeah. have Black Friday that day after? Yeah, third Thursday in November. So the the third Friday in November. Do you is, do you have it, something? Yeah, it's third, right? Yeah, third. No, it's the last it's Thursday. The last, last Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Anyway, or, or last. Let us know, David, because that'd be interesting. Um, all right, so we're on Facebook, facebook.com slash onequestonline. Twitter, Twitter, we're uh, at one underscore quest on Twitter. I was going to say twitter.com slash whatever, but I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> that was a terrible fart. <laughs> why? What was wrong it with it? sounded really wet. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, uh, so other than Facebook and Twitter, we're on the internet, www.one-quest.com. No way. Yep. And uh, you can find this podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. Rate us on iTunes because apparently that helps yeah. us get placed places. That's what I've been saying. Heart, star, like, plus one. Well, well no, I didn't, horses, I didn't realize that actually the more Lots ratings you get on iTunes, the, yeah. the more likely you are to get featured. Yeah, I mean, that makes more sense you know, because that means people like it. So, yeah, like yeah. rate us, grade us, star us, tell us. To, you know, tell your friends whatever you got to do. Just pass us along and uh, try to get us some exposure. Because the, the more exposure we get, then the more um, fake money we can get. Because we don't have anything making us money off of this shit. Well, I mean, and the then, more exposure we get, the more possibility we could get advertisers, which then means we could possibly. Sh- sh- we nobody could, likes the a word. We could get money to buy new games, so this way we're reviewing something new each week All and right. not just talking about bullshit. See, now you're just being ridiculous. Just yeah. But yeah, just review us, yeah. rate us, tell us, tell us if we suck post, or if we're good. Post it on Reddit for us, something like that. Who knows? Help All us. All right, and otherwise, uh, keep playing Fallout. But I don't have it. You should go get it. I kind of want to. You yeah, should. just go do it. It's really good. It's, GameStop's not that far away. Nope, I know. But actually, you could do, you could you can honestly go to Shoprite and get it out of Redbox. Uh, then I only have uh, twenty five days to beat it, or thirty days to beat it to make it worthwhile. Yeah, but then you could at least try it and be like, yeah, I definitely yeah, want to go Yeah, you could go it. get it for the day, play it for, like, have, do what I did. Get it for two days, play it for six bucks, make sure you like it and want to keep going, and then if you just go buy a used copy. I mean, it. let's face it. You know what you're getting into. You're going to like it. That's true. I, yeah, you, you already know what you're... I like Fallout. All right. Yeah. We need to stop so I can go play it. Figure it out. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.